It's a tax agent, but not as we know it. Be a cheeky tit. Oh, and this is great banter. I'm sick, Josh. I'm sick. Yeah. I'm ill. I've got an ill. <laughs> How's the clip? What's the symptoms? Man. Um, I've got a body ache, Josh. Um, I've got the snot in my face all night. My, my wet nose is going honky honk honk and, and twinkle snot. Uh, it's horrible. Uh, this body feels bad. Uh, just feel bad. I don't know. I've got to stick things up my nose. You know, the jig these days, you put things up your nose. It's not HIV. I've not been to any piss orgies. Um, you, got, uh, you got those things, the, the crystals that you put in a bowl when you put the towel over your head. Yeah, Holly hooked me up. I got a bunch of crystals and sticking <laughs> crystal dildos where the sun don't shine all morning. But nothing's worked. I'm talking about the, no, man. those mental crystals. like uh... Mental? Yeah, I don't know if they even do them anymore. When I was a kid, if I was sick, I had to put my head over a hot water that was full of menthol and put a towel over my head so I couldn't. So I just got I've, the menthol. I've done that before with, uh, you know, like a Vicks vapor rub type uh, steam bath thing. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> I had a hot shower. Anyway, no one wants to hear about this. I think that was, I think that was probably like the poor man's going to a doctor or something. Oh, hang on. There's there's someone. Oh, look, this one those blankets, like Romeo and Juliet, that scene where they're rolling around under the blanket world. God, Baz Luhrmann. Amazing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, God, I haven't seen a movie like that for a while. No. Oh, I think uh, where's Nathan? Nathan? He's coming. I just pressed the button. Uh, yeah. Oh, I'm sick. I'm sick. <laughs> I'm sick. Oh, I'm lucky oh, yeah. I don't smoke anymore. I'll be feeling real, real rough. Yeah. I'm sorry. Smoking when I'm sick is it's the worst. I used to think it was fine. I thought, oh, it makes my throat feel better, actually. But no, now that I don't smoke and I've gotten sick, I'm like, oh, actually, it made things far worse. I feel much less horrible than I than I probably would. Where's Nate? Yeah, yeah. I pressed the accept button. I've accepted him again. He's he's an ornery chap, that Nate. He doesn't want to. He's like, oh, you hit the accept button. I'm like, oh, I've gone away. He's very cheeky. He plays hard to get. I'm in my cubby hole today. I have to, I'm charging my <clears throat> I'm charging my telephone that makes this thing work here. Sideways. This is the only but, way it's possible. Let's all turn sideways in solidarity with me. Yes. So Simon, it sounds like you've really got some kind of bug here. It sounds like you might just have a monkeypox or something. Uh, I was at the Mass of Christ, and um, there are a lot of people there. Um, so I think I've just gotten a, an illness from a, a child or, or or an old man or just you know 
People that go out in the world. These are the usual suspects. <laughs> you should exactly. not be hanging around those people at all. Uh, Horrible. Yeah. Uh, You've got books uh, to I think about. To, well, I had to celebrate with the family, you know. That's true. It's just been a rough season. It's been, it's been two deaths in the family in the last like two weeks. It's, uh, it's been very depressing. I've got. That's my excuse, Nate. That's why I haven't sent your prints to you yet. Um, oh, I know about the family struggles. <laughs> I understand. Well, I will send your prints. If people could stop passing away, um, that would be nice. Um, and I'll send Nate's prints. So that, that's an ultimatum and a, and a threat to my family. Stop dying or there's going to be trouble because Nate's there's been... going to get his prints. And all of his simps aren't going to get their horse porn. Have you guys ever got money with this on it before? What? It says, no, return no. bill to, and then it has a dress in Maine. You guys ever got that before? No, uh, no it must be a scam. Yeah. Are you going to do yeah. it? I don't know. Well, if I send it and they're like, you win. Keep and they give me $10. Yeah, do that. No, what if it's... they double? Well, what would you be winning? I'm going to stamp. I'm just, yeah, you're going to get anything. I'm going to stamp all my bills. If people are stupid enough to send them back to me, I'm like, ha ha. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty smart, yeah. I'm an idiot. I was thinking I could, like, double my money. No, I think they're just going to take your money. Yo, <laughs> so, you poor, naive Isle of Wight boy. This country is going to eat you alive. My God. Yeah, yeah. What did everybody eat for breakfast today? Uh, I can oh. I had an exciting one today, Nate, and you're going to love it. How about the gravy? Let's hear it. Mashed, mashed potato with mushroom gravy. And uh, and then I had a, a big piece of pie, courtesy of Josh. Josh, you're so fat now. Look at you. It's so British. That's so lovely. This sounds to me like leftovers. You sounds like you were very fortunate in recent times, culinary wise. Yeah, yeah. I won the uh, I won the food lottery. It does sound That's like lovely correct. Christmas. Christ mass leftovers. Yeah, how was yeah, Christmas, yeah. Josh? What'd you get up to? What'd you, did you did you uh, find any pickles in any trees? Did, didn't we do a Christmas episode? But yeah, it was lovely. Well, I went to Simon's sweet. house. Yeah. I went to Simon's and I had uh, some lovely food. I had a lot of wine. I was sick in his toilet. But I, <laughs> that, I did a really good job cleaning it up. You did. You did. Bless your little drunken heart. Very good job. Um, what'd you... What color was it? Red. It was just so much red wine. It was just like, it was just lumpy red chunks. Oh, oh this is cool. Yeah, you just you just eating a lot of food, Josh. A lot of yeah, yeah. And gravy and chunks of stuff. And oh gosh. And not to, no, I'm not going to ask too graphic. <laughs> You're going to tell me. <laughs> Please go into it, Josh. People this, like this when you laugh. cigarette was so funny. I don't know. <laughs> you know, when you say but the stuff coming up, the food is so fresh that it's still in its regular form. Yep. So it's like it's stuck in your throat. It makes you sick even more because it's just you have like lumpy food. <laughs> in your throat. Uh, I don't it know, was like that. Yeah. It doesn't really make me more sick. What did you say? It doesn't really always make me more sick, to be honest. Well, ideally, you want liquid coming out. But if it's fully like, if it's like fresh food, that was made that you ate half an hour ago. Yeah. I, uh. Similarly enough, I actually got sick on Christmas Eve too, and I was throwing up shrimps. Yeah. I was throwing Shrimp. up, I was throwing <laughs> up prawns. I was oh, Nate, up, did you have a, do you have a prawn cocktail for Christmas? Oh yeah, I went to I went to my my friend's very posh uh, Christmas Eve. Very fancy stuff. Prawns, that was that shrimp. was um uh, that was always my favorite thing about Christmas growing up was prawn like prawns in like a prawn sauce like the the pink prawn sauce. sauce yeah what is, oh, is that it's just like ketchup and mayonnaise I had scallops wrapped in bacon too cool. and you got a oh fucking my God. SpongeBob SquarePants fucking Christmas party it's yeah food it's food. good <laughs> and then I also had um. Sausage with that, with uh, peppers and tomatoes. Oh, yeah. And I had uh, a bunch of Irish whiskey, and that's what got me thrown up. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I was 
it's fine. I was I was drinking eggnog, uh, Pennsylvania Dutch eggnog. I was just festive wow. tipsy. But you know, I, I I didn't smoke half of an old cigarette that had been sitting out in the ashtray, my mother in law's ashtray for five days. So oh, but I that didn't was get true. sick. Josh, you really did do that. <laughs> Yeah, I lost, I lost my jewel, and so I was like, I'm going to have uh, a cigarette from the ashtray outside, and that's what, my head started spinning, and that's what it made me. That sounds bad. So why didn't you get one off of uh, Jack's mother-in-law, Simon's mother-in-law? Yeah. yeah, you think like, you know, you think, oh, I've matured, like I'm doing better in life, things are going well, and then, you, you know, yeah, you're not. Uh, my, 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 my brother-in-law's wife wanted to set Josh up with her twin sister, who owns like a condo and stuff. And oh. Josh, it, this would necessitate Josh having to be a father to an eight-year-old girl. I don't know. Because yeah. he, meanwhile, he's like smoking cigarettes out of like old lady ashtrays and stuff. And like, yeah. yeah. Josh, that's bad yeah. news. I, I, say, I say stay away from her, Josh. That's a bad idea. For everybody I think, involved. I think you should do it, Josh. I think Josh needs to get with this marine biologist lady and live in her condo. Yeah, yeah. I think. It's I mean, property place. owner, has a good job. Yep. you got a kid already. You don't even have to do any work to make a kid. You've just got like an eight-year-old daughter, just good to go. But ready with to none of the love that comes with it. I don't have to like, I don't have to do any of the uh, the hard years. No diaper changes, I hope. I don't think she's still in diapers. You never know. Not these well, days, sure don't know. Yeah. I mean, you like fish. I mean, you know, you, yeah, you're just talking about prawn cocktails and stuff. So, I mean, you got that in common. You're like, hey, babe, do you like prawn cocktails <laughs> and old lady cigarettes that have been half smoking from five days ago? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, so it, was, so it was a great Christmas. We had a lovely time. We were... We were chatting away. We were listening to the glow part two by the microphones and just drunk as, as fuck. Oh, that's sad. Nog and wine and Josh had the cigarette. See, we tried to go to the CVS. So I don't want our viewers to think we're totally horrible or I was, you know, not helping Josh. I said, Josh, I, I looked it up. There was a CVS. Uh, it was a 49 minute ride away, but we only had one bike. So that's mm. almost a two hour round trip to go and get cigarettes. So, yeah. so we yeah. couldn't do that. I couldn't drive because I was too drunk, and I'm not an idiot, so I wasn't going to drunk drive and risk my life or my daughter's livelihood for Josh's cigarettes. Uh, well, how so, long a round trip would that be, like, giving me a backy? Uh, giving you a backy? I mean, like, two and a half hours. It's you're pretty thin, but it slowed me down. Um, mm -hmm. it's, a, yeah. it's a hazard. It's a total hazard. If I had a skateboard, I could tow you on a rope, or like rollerblades. You could go behind the bike. Uh, that would be a cool look. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. He just run behind the bike. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was a magical Christmas. It really was. Yeah, Jack came out. She had to get our daughter down to sleep. And she came out like, where's Josh? And he, just, he disappeared in the night. And I messaged him in the Uber. I was like, is everything okay? No vomits in the Uber. And you didn't reply for about 30 minutes. And I was like, oh, oh. <laughs> I just pictured you like by the side of the road, like you know, like being John Malkovich, just like naked on the side yeah. of the road, like vomiting, spat out of a tube. Anyway. Nate, I had the craziest Uber ride there. It was like so this like <laughs> this little old woman got in like it was like a shared Uber. Oh, she got God. in and uh, she started telling me about how her her daughter had died recently. So she asked if we could all say a prayer together. What and did she, you? Well, I just like, you know, sat tried to sit there respectfully, but this prayer it went on for maybe 15 minutes and every single time I thought it was finished and then she started again, I just could not, so I was like dying of laughter. <laughs> and you know that kind of laughter like in class when you're a kid and you're just like yeah. trying to hold it in and you're like, I'm not going to make a noise, I'm just, but you're just like shaking, you know. Yeah. Well, I usually, I usually stab myself with my fingernails if I need to do that and get the pain going. That's how you stop laughing. You ever do that? What are you That's doing in those no, moments? No, 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 I didn't try that. I just, like, kind of looked out the window and, like, uh, just, yeah. You just look maniacal doing that, Nate. You'd be there, like, <laughs> and, like, yeah, I usually do into your legs. When I'm on a Greyhound, I usually bite my hand so I make sure I get to see it by myself. If it's a really desperate situation and I know it's going to be long, I'll just start biting my hand, like. Yeah, yeah. 
and they say, yeah. "Oh my God, I can't sit next to that fucking freak." Oh, I'm usually, doing everything yeah. I can not to laugh because it's just, no, not to make a noise because it was yeah, it would have been really that would have been really bad. That's bad news. And it's like a nervous laughter. It wasn't like a you know, it wasn't like a ha, you know, <laughs> suffered a massive tragedy. It was it was like a nervous laughter. He went like sucked in you dumb bitch. Josh has got more class than that. Yeah. What's everyone working on? His middle name is Decorum. I know that since day one. Josh I'm in the pencil world right now and I'm loving it. It's it's uh, where I need to be. Hard. That's um, gonna be a top comic of the year. That might be, if you might be able to get that in uh, in time for Bubbles best of the year. What? That yeah. Oh, the one I'm working on? <coughs> yeah. Uh, I won't be finishing this in two days. No way, no how. Yeah, but he's uh, doing it in March, I think. Oh, oh. What? Yeah. Is this I, 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 I picked up on that because Josh and I literally discussed that the other day, that the Bubbles Best of 2022 won't be out until March. It's delayed. Oh. Well, maybe I'll, 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 this will definitely be out by then. I saw Jimmy Brown join, but he disappeared. I was going to ask him if he wanted to come in. Ah, but... oh, Jim. Oh, if he comes back, let's try and get Jim on. I Jim just wrote about Brown. Jim for, for Liberation. I told Josh this, but do you know Liberation, Nate? It's like one of the biggest newspapers in uh, in France. Uh, lefty <laughs> rag, I think. Don't know. Don't know what their leaning is. They are lefty rag, but I like the Liberation. They're good. They always interview me, and they asked me once again for like the best. Best of the year, like what's what's an artist or musician or something that you liked? And I said it was a, a young Mancurian activist, poet, and musician from Didsbury <laughs> called Jim E. Brown, and that his beautiful voice had just brought a smile to my face throughout this uh, this challenging year. Mm -hmm. so I hope I hope they printed that because the girl who she was like, oh, merci, I will go and listen now. I, like, oh, wow. <laughs> I wonder. I wonder if Jimmy Brown stole her heart the same way he stole millions. Well, she may have just gotten on a plane. Like she may have just gone straight to Charles de Gaulle and just gotten on a plane if she could get one. Um, and just like, yeah, I'm in love with him. Tracked him down. He's in Philly right now doing a, some international mm -hmm. touring. I think mm -hmm. he's always playing in Philly. <laughs> weird, Jimmy Brown. He's from Didsbury, Manchester. He's he's just intrinsically. He is Didsbury. Um, but yeah, he's yeah. always in Philadelphia. He's always playing dive bars and like playing shit gigs with sh other shit bands in, in Philly. It's, it's because they uh, feed him. You see, he's a fat fuck. Well, I mean, I know he's done like the, the canned bread tour and stuff. If you've read his books, he, he went on a big tour of the canned bread factory. Um, so I don't know if that's bringing him back again and again. He keeps taking the tour at the canned bread factory. Check out Jim's yeah. YouTube, anyway. Jimmy Brown's YouTube. He does have a great uncanning video <laughs> where he uncans a, a, a can of bread. And it's it's, uh, it's really good. Oh, yeah. I'm assuming you've both seen it as uh, Jimmy Brown super fans. No, I haven't seen him unbox no breads. Oh, I, I, don't need, I don't need to watch that. I guess you're, you're his T-shirt illustrator. You probably have, like, business issues with him or something. We don't need to go into it. I no, no, no. Um, well, but Simon, what are you working on right now? Because uh, the, the, you don't know pages for the World Jones book. Or are you doing the end paper still? No, yeah, there's more to do. I did my front end paper, um, which I posted a portion of. I drew it last last week on Manga Chat. I put a portion on uh, the, the Instagram. For the uh, I did the, yep, for the holidays. That's right. I've got this uh, <laughs> contents page. Uh, I'm working on um, content the cover. Bye, then. Exactly. So a back cover for the jacket right now. And then I have to do the front cover for the inside hard shell. Holy that's, shit. That's about it. I've got, yeah, I've got shell cover, shell spine, jacket back cover, jacket flaps, and spine. Mm. And Josh still has a, a landscape end paper and a portrait end paper, which I think he's about halfway through. Um, yeah. we all, also an ad page. We have to put together an ad page now. Mm -hmm. You can advertise like horn rim. Uh, go to yeah, two. Yeah. Um, go to our, one. Yeah, go to one. All of our works. So, you know, throwing an HMR flowers plug, like a link to Sicko Vision if anyone wants to go on Twitch and watch Grant play movies, uh, obscure movies. I don't, I, that's all.
all I can plug. I think Grant's got his, his Patreon as well. He's also e-begging yeah, yeah. over at Patreon. So I should do, do that. I should actually subscribe to one of my best friend's um, <laughs> Patreons. But I think you both got Patreons, but I just ignore them. Um, right. Yeah, I, it's best not to, see, you know. It's for necessity, and I'm hoping... I don't really... I I still need to mail out a bunch of stuff for that. So if people were to join it, they'd be getting some cool stuff in the mail. But, Absolutely. And again, if anyone came in late, I am going to post Nate's print soon. Please bear with me. They're stuck in, they're stuck in a transit in Simon's garage right now. Yeah. In transit, yeah. sitting in my garage. So I will be getting the mail as soon as I get them in my, in my, in my grasp. But people can still buy them, too. I'm so confused about how that happened. Did you forget to take the Nate, or did they not arrive in time for permanent damage? Why were they um, sent them in the first place? Yeah, so oh. I took him. Mm. Um, uh, uh, so, okay, so the, I got an email saying that they actually weren't going to get to Simon's because I ordered them there. And I heard that they weren't going to get to there until two weeks after Christmas. So I went and got some new ones made at the Campus Copy Center by my house. And so then I showed up with those shitty le less quality ones and then all the ones i ordered were there already and so <clears throat> simon just offered to mail, mail them back so i don't have to carry them all mine yeah i, I promised to mail back. them back in a timely fashion and i've not done that sorry i thought that story was going to be more exciting yeah it's a bit boring what have you bought down upon us josh that's a good one Josh, what are you working on? How far are you really in these end papers here? Are you lying? No, <laughs> I've, 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 penciled, I've, I've penciled the uh, portrait one. I have to do the landscape and I have to do the back cover, and that's that's me. And your jacket stuff, yeah. The jacket stuff, that is the back cover, right? Well, you have to do a front cover. Cover, back cover, a spine, and two flaps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A whole side yeah. of the jacket. Yeah. Oh, that back cover, right? Oh, because the other shell back cover is yes. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Anyway, so, so I'm. I'm yeah, really I, I, I feel absolutely terrible. Yeah. Um, well, Josh, it's really exciting. And um, Simon, send anything else that needs to be colored when you've got it. I'm ready. I'm ready for that. I'm still colored and finishing up. Great. Uh, hang on, Before guys. Sorry, Jack's just rudely walked into my room requesting six dollars. What are you doing? I'm doing manga chat. This is a professional show. Yeah, my camera's up there. I've mounted it up there. So people can get the bird's eye view of me in the work zone. Yeah, you know, you're, you're terrible. It's terrible. I've got a tenner. I've got a one. A, a couple of ones. These was yeah, all right, take the ten. So this was supposed to be for the pool table, but Josh and I couldn't get to the pool table. It's very sad. So take my drifters pool money. I don't need it anymore. No. No. Yeah. Good luck with your dollars. Enjoy them. Make it rain. Yeah. Yeah. You got some news, don't you, Josh? You want to talk about your news or? You don't have yeah, we can talk about it. Oh, I'll just go through. I'll just go through the whole thing. It's kind of strange, and I'm about to get roasted. Well, it's painfully. a great time, and I'm ready for it. I think I'm very stoked I mean, I, to hear what happens. Simon, I've got so has his roast ready. So many jokes. I've got so many avenues. So many. Oh man. So I'll start. I'll start at the beginning. Uh. Big life change, six year relationship ended. Let me see who's watching first. Wait, what? Six year relationship ended. Wait, you brought so I'm up with here in wife? LA. What do you say now? with your, your wife. No way. Well, you know. Well, Hold on, what the fuck? Happens, I'm waiting here. We've all been yeah, so I am. Um, your wife, for the record, it was just a joke about marriage. So I was looking for apartments in here in LA for a while, and uh, it's hard. It just it it's hard wasn't to... it wasn't doable. Well, I don't want to live in a punk house, which yeah, people like right. can afford. That was the one good thing you found. There were all shows on all the time, and it just yeah, sounded like yeah, a yeah. fucking nightmare. You've got a small dog, Bingo. You can't. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you can't be in a punk house with a fucking dog. No. Anyway. So I decided I'm going to move to either Chicago, Seattle, or Philly. And then I thought, no, Chicago. 
Chicago's going to be depressing because I've lived there. Seattle's too expensive. Yeah, so, I'm moving, I'm, so I'm moving to Philly. On the, on the, in two days, I'm moving to Philly. <laughs> Bang! And, um, yeah, I was going to, like, I had this, uh, had an apartment lined up, but I couldn't bring my dog to that one. And then Nate's roommate heard that uh, I was looking for a place, and the roommate's like, I don't, you know, I can't afford it here anymore. I'll move out, so I'm going to go live with Nate. Temporarily. Wait a second, that's how it's going to be fun? That's the narrative. Until he upsets me, until he says something horribly (laughs) offensive to me, and then I'll find someone new. But yeah, I'm going to go be roommates with Nate for... For what? What do you mean temporary? (laughs) (laughs) Don't throw me under the bus like that, as if I'm uh, just a bus. At least least until the lease ends. And depending on if you're like... You've described it as... Being quite, you know, moldy. Yeah, you were talking about In the past, mold, it's, it's different now. It changed up. All right, yeah. Very so, easily gave up the dream. Oh, I'll move, happily move out. Yeah, yeah. So that's, yeah, that's the big life change for this year. This has been... 2023 is going to be crazy. Princess Diana's death for, for a year. Yeah. I'm depressed as hell. I cried riding back from the bus station yesterday. I don't care. I'm mad enough to admit it. Was, no, I know, did. I I did twice. I did on the train. Yeah, yeah. And then in the CVS later. See Josh off to the train station, and he's been my best friend for like you know, like fifteen, sixteen months. We've hung out every week. Uh, yeah. You know, working on our schemes, riding bikes, and just you know, shooting the shit and hanging out. And I think the pandemic was rough, and like you know, I, I haven't had a real friend for like I don't know eight years. It's like from my wife you know my wife yeah. you know, i don't want to throw her under yeah. the bus and pretend i'm not friends with her but anyway it's nice to have a friend so it's really sad it feels like the end of an era um, yeah it does it's pretty horrible uh, but yeah yeah it was very emotional but you've got nate that's the thing on the bright side like you're just moving you know from one side of manga chat to the <laughs> other and i'm jealous because <laughs> you guys are both going to be living in a house together having fun and you'll, you know, you'll, you'll go to Jimmy Brown concerts when Jim tours and comes over and does all of his shows. Oh. It'll be exciting, Josh. It's a, it's, a, it's a rough, crazy, emotional time. But yeah. Nate's yeah. going Nate's to take care of you. He's a good boy. He's like Pinocchio come to life. He's a beautiful puppet boy. Well, yeah, <laughs> hemorrhaging no. viewers. People don't like this new emotional, like, uh, non-toxic male manga chat. <laughs> well, a lot of, a lot, a lot of, you know... There's a lot to be said here, you know, like, Josh, your life has imploded, but it's kind of a nice, it's kind of exciting, an exciting new chapter. I have to admit, it's like... I don't know if it's dream. imploded. Josh is doing a- Here's what I'm excited about. I'm excited about me and Nate making, you know, living with someone who I can make, who, who's, like, motivated and makes comics. Yeah. Well, Public transport, because I don't want to drive. Oh, and living in a bikeable city, that's, yeah, those are good things. You're not excited about my hair blow in the morning in the wind? You're not yeah, excited yeah. about looking over and knowing when I'm always there? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm excited about that, knock, that morning knock on my door to make sure I'm up and ready to draw. Yeah. Oh, my gosh, I'll be expecting that, too. I think it's good. I wonder if you'll probably wake up before I will, Josh. Cause you're it's going to be... It's just giving me uh, me and HTML flowers vibes. It's just, I just, it's just, it's this weird new version of like me and HTML flowers. You know, the the, the younger, crazy, funny guy and the older, slightly more ornery guy. Like, you know, it's like the original odd couple. It's, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I, I, I'm so yeah. excited, to Josh, to to draw with you and live with you. Yeah. And, yeah, yeah. I, I'm jealous as hell. You're gonna have a bang of time. I need to come over and you know visit and. Uh, Stay in a hotel, of course. What? You want to stay in a hotel? Oh, yeah, that's, that's, what am I going to sleep on a couch? Well, you, sleep on my, you sleep on my bed and uh, and I'll sleep on the futon. It's easy. That, that sounds even uh, worse. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I run a tight ship over here. It's actually quite a nice, classy little spot. People, people doubt me. You advertise too. online, but sure. Yeah, people, people like to doubt my living arrangements, but my God, it's damn good sometimes. Yeah, it's going to be good. Pretty soon. I'm, I'm, excited about, I'm excited about top 10 things that you start to really hate. 
I hope it doesn't get to, to a list of 10, you know? I don't know what you're talking about. Top 10 what? Well, think about living with little old me. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The smell. No, I smell, <laughs> no, I smell great. Well, um, Simon, how old, how old were you and Grant when you moved into his mother's garden shed? Uh, I think Grant was like, fuck, like 20 or 21. And I was like 26 or something. Wow. Something like that. So this is yeah, actually... old, old, old enough to know better. Hey. Oh. Well, anyway. Yeah, no, it was great. It was good when I moved into the shed. Uh, you know, but yeah, I, I, similar vibes. You know, you guys are two cartoonists. You're feverish workers. You got to live together in squalid conditions and just pound out the work and just become this this bastion of high energy, high quality work. And it's going to be a fucking hot 2023. Yeah. Manga chat's going to be popping off all, yeah. all throughout 2023. We're going to go pro. We're going to go on YouTube and get super chats. We're going to have proper filming. We're going to have big mics. We're going to have gamer chairs. We're going oh. to get fucking piss man and the rug man. The fucking gonna, rung, uh, rug for their money. We're going to fuck. We're going to have PayPal simps. Bang. Oh, we're going to be simping it up. Like crazy. So Josh, would we do yeah. for rooms? I think we gotta do it side by side. I don't think so. I think I'll just go to the library or something when we do manga chat. Library? What the fuck do you mean by that? <laughs> I just I don't know, it's fine. Well it'd feel weird. I mean Josh and I had the option when he came here to like we could be in the same room or next to each other or by the fire pit and do manga chat. But I don't know. It just felt weird. I feel like we need to be in our own separate zones, like our, yeah, yeah, yeah. Our, our cubby. So, but it'll be very funny if you guys are in the same house. Like, there's just a wall in between. Be... <laughs> well, we'll try it out and see both ways. I think it'd be really funny if we were just side by side. I think if we were side by side drawing, side by side, it'd be even weirder and cooler or something. Really for a while, yeah, for a while, I hope that Josh would try to keep it a secret that he lived with you, Nate. He, you know, he's embarrassed; he doesn't want anyone to know. So he's like, he, you know, oh, I've got to go to the toilet in the middle of manga chat. We'd see him like walk by in the background of you, but he'd put like a different hat on or something. So I was like, oh, it's a different guy. He could plausibly say, no, it's a different guy. Oh my god! Seriously, <coughs> for the ages. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I, guess I don't know, Josh. I mean, I, I, I never really put my myself, you know, my own self in the category of someone to be embarrassed to live with. But I guess I guess I really do fit that category for you, don't I? I guess that's really... I'm not cool. embarrassed, you know. Uh, you had a free room. I love you, Nate. And uh, you can have... And I'm allowed my dog there. It just it, it worked out. I think it's just... It's, you know, people may think that you're his son. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if, if, if Josh ever brings anybody over, it's like, this is this is my place. And this, this guy lives with me. That's what you have this to is, do. This is my boy from a previous marriage. This is young Nathaniel. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm just... His mother's a marine biologist. Uh, stuck around. Sleeping yeah. in a big bunk bed. Whoa. We should have right. cartooning uh, bunk bed desks. I got call top on that one. Yeah, yeah. Shit, he's got yeah. you there. He's got you there, Josh. He's got the top. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I've, I've never had that. I was at the bottom bunk as a kid. I've never had the top bunk, so it's yeah, fine. I'm yeah. used to it. How is your neighborhood, Nate? Are there gang shootings and uh, homeless encampments and stuff? Is it, is it, you know, how is it? Is it spicy? Well, there's no KFC at my window like there's with Josh. Oh. I got lots of stuff at my window. You know, I got Supremo. You get your fruits there. You get your moldy cream cheese there. You got... The Chinese <coughs> called New Number One. We don't know where the old n number one went, but it's called New Number One. You go there. It's pretty safe. There's a lot of alumni of the University of Penn, which is not always the greatest uh, group of, um, of <laughs> you don't really like people. But there's lots of dogs. There's lots of people, you know, that look like they're very miserable, but they still put it together. They put it on. Yeah. They don't go out and sweat. So it's good. For a gentleman with a small dog, for like a polite gentleman to walk his dog, he's not going to get harassed. No one's going to be like, I'm going to fucking kill you. Well, like this guy used to all the time here in LA. I just, I, I've been like carrying boxes to the post office all day. And on the way to the post office, there's a little homeless encampment. And uh, so I'm walking past these boxes and there's this guy, this is the second time I've, se I've seen this. 
he just has his like uh, he has his underwear and his jeans around his ankles and he's just like knocked out well he's just having a bit of a nap don't you think yeah, it's quite uh yeah it's pretty there's like at least, yeah. He's not going to kick your head in, at least, though, you know. At least, you know, you know he's going to kick your head in. Yeah. Outside my house, if you walk, if you turn right, you get into a really fancy neighborhood. And if you turn left, it's to the heroin style. Well, this is what I need you, Nate, is to be like, tell me which way I can turn, that I can walk bingo. Yeah, of course. Oh, I'm ready to show you all around, Josh. I'm excited, because, you know, it's going to be nice to have... To have um, like a friend, you know, like a man. And we're also uh, should announce our partners and son <clears throat> on the fifteenth. Uh, we're gonna have like a Josh Pettinger newly single speed dating. Event. Oh my! So God. please do come. Say on. that. That's not what it is. So please do, <laughs> do come out to that partners and son December uh, no January fifteenth. Well, well, I'm gonna be there too, but it ain't speed dating for me. I must be Dan. I slowed. I'm doing. Um, I want to be the chair that is in between you and your dates, Josh. Or I'm yeah, sorry. you can moderate. You can moderate in there and just kind of keep the riff raff out. Yeah, uh, the riff raff. <laughs> what is that? Well, Josh, is, Josh is used to all these LA women with the fillers and like you know the juicy couture yeah, yeah. and stuff. You know, a certain class of lady. He doesn't know about these Philly broads. I mean, you know, yeah, yeah. What kind of sweatsuit do they wear? Is it juicy? There is none of that. None of that here. Well, it's near Jersey. You can go to New Jersey, maybe, Josh. You can go and prowl around down at Jersey. Josh, there's no... Yeah, there's mate, no you, can, mate, you can perform background checks at the door. Josh, there's no... no there's not a single woman in, in the city of Philadelphia who will put up with your... Uh, your... Um, your behaviors. Hey, you yeah, this. He has his waivers. You got you know, you can be in charge of the waivers, Nate. Yeah, yeah. I'll be Make sure they're being signed. We yeah, got no block. cameras. No they have uh, Leonardo DiCaprio style NDAs. Yeah. yeah. There's, a, there's, there's only a few people that could, that could put up with the rigmarole that you caused, Josh. With yeah, the rhythm yeah. and the, 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 the crashing of waves in the ocean that you caused. The rifts in the tide. Yeah, yeah. That's exciting. I think, a lot, I, think, I think the whole city is just waiting for you. To set your foot down into it. You've never even visited, right? What's that? Did you even ever visit before? No, I've never been. Oh yeah. my gosh. Well, whole new world. Um, I was supposed to move there before I moved to LA. So it's like, it's always, it's like been in my mind for years. But, uh, well, I guess. Yeah. yeah, it's, uh. Los Angeles is loss and uh, Philadelphia's gain and my loss and Nate's uh, gain in, in terms of a friend. Yeah. Well, Nate, Simon, now you'll know what it's been like this whole time. It's the ultimate, it's the ultimate fear of missing out. You mean, you know, I guess, we have got other friends, so I don't have any other friends. Uh, I just have Josh, he's my best friend. Yeah, so, uh... Uh, I guess that's yeah, it's, sad, it's a bit, it's a bit depressing. You're stealing my best friend. Yeah, you scumbag. I'm a snatcher. That's bad. Yeah, naughty boy. You give him a I, spanking when you get there, Josh. Yeah, I get, I get, I usually end up getting what I deserve in with some way. Yeah, yeah. Nate rarely gets a moment of happiness. <laughs> For me. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, it's usually co-opted by something else. Yeah. Oh, Josh. It's so, no, it's no, it's so no. funny. It's so funny you guys are going to be living together. It's going to be it's going to be a fun 2023. Bizarre, but yeah. We should also promote Nate is selling uh, PDFs of all of his comics. So DM Nate and buy a pay-what-you-want PDF of all of his comics because, you know, shipping's insane sometimes and... Uh, all that stuff, and Nate needs to make rent and all that. All right, sure do, Josh. Well, we need to make rent. It's, it's about us now. We're a family now. I, I'm, I'm already paid for January, <laughs> Nate. You. <laughs> you took the check-in for me. Mm -hmm. I know. I was there for that. Oh, my gosh. It's down to the wire, folks. I've never been this broke, but this is... Yeah. This is um, 
you about this is why I'm selling PDFs. You're about to get paid soon for your uh, your Werewolf Jones uh, coloring. Oh, I think Lord. I think, you'll be yeah, quite yeah. I think you'll be quite happy with your, your little purse that you'll get from that. Oh, yeah. Nice. I mean, Mr. Reynolds will pay us. Uh, he pays us our advance uh, upon delivery of the book. or the, you know, He paid us 50% last year, and now we get the other 50%. Uh, so we're handing in the book. You know, I mean, for, within a week or something, I think we can pull this off. Uh, yeah, well, remember earlier, Nate, when Jack yeah. came in and asked for that money from Simon? Now, it's, it's on its way to you right now. Oh. Oh my but, god, that's cool. The $6 is in the mail. Wow. What, really? No, I was just joking that the money uh, Jack needed to borrow off you was to send to Nate. Oh, so that would have been sweet. But now it's just disappointing. You got him all excited. He could have bought some fish in a bag. But now he yeah. probably can't. I'm actually, I'm fully stocked on my groceries. My groceries was my last expense before completely... Um, Complete and utter uh, uh, homelessness, almost. Yeah, smart. Yeah, so everyone DM Nate and buy that PDF. Yeah. You get some great comments. And it's everything. You can get the full collection. I'm talking Horn Room 1, Horn Room 2, Horn Room 3. Gosh, that's some embarrassing work, Nate. You're actually giving people that insight into your early formative embarrassing work. My God, this is a bargain. It is a bargain because I really shouldn't be doing this. And I really have actually zero interest in doing this. But... For the time being, you know, there's no physical books right now. Sold them all. Man, this is some shit work in a shit format. This is, wow, what a deal. A deal. Yeah. That's good. A lot of people like, you know, the shipping's too much or their economy in their country's fucked up. I think it's good, Nick. Oh, it is. It makes it accessible. It's like the library, you know. It's, you know, it's a yeah. nice fee. Six dollars is a good, that's a good price. That's cheap. You know, you're supporting Nate. And you get to see your stuff. Don't bootleg it and send it to your friends. Just tell them this was good. You go give Nate six dollars. Yeah, they're giving you more than six dollars, aren't they? Nate? Someone, yeah, yeah. Someone gave me forty dollars today for the whole thing. It's it fabulous stuff. Oh, very nice. I'll make it. I'll make it my way through. That's lovely. Depending on the kindness of strangers, it's lovely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I didn't get it. I, this I didn't get it. What? I said trudging away on this book too. It's almost all colored up. Ah, bang bang. Yeah, no, we should we should get you paid soon. Uh, we want, yeah, says Mr. Reynolds from the old Fancy Graphics pays us. Yeah, he contractually has to pay us the rest of our money upon the uh, delivery of the files. So, uh, what's well, so the deadline? The seventh. Our, our deadline is the seventh of January. Mm -hmm. So, what was the eighth? Oh, or the eighth. I guess we can be a day late. Yeah, but, you know, ideally the seventh. You know, I'd, you know, I'd like to have oh, it in my seven. end of yeah. business or sundown on the seventh. No problem. Uh, that is easily doable. I think so. I think at the point we're at, if we all hustle. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I feel like shit. I was re it was really fucking hard to get started here, and I feel things are a bit off, a bit wonky. I'm just, I feel awful, uh, but I'm doing it. You know. Well, you got to. Move, Joshua. It's challenging for you. You've got you know, these end papers and a bit of colouring left to do. You're fucking moving. No. If, if you can even get your fucking flight. If you can't get your flight uh, dodged, then you're going to have to stomach, come stay here. <laughs> yeah. Have you, you heard all this, mate? Like all the airport strife, like all these people stranded and shit? You heard about this, mate? No, no. Oh, man. People are fighting. Man. They're like, just all these Southwest flights are cancelled or something. It's just like hundreds of thousands of people just trapped in airports all over the country and just can't rebook flights and just chaos like it's like home alone or something like christmas uh, chaos that's, yeah, yeah that's like, uh, for traveling on christmas my god planes trains and automobiles josh yes. you know, you're traveling on new year's eve this is scary shit i'm gonna be no, right there new, year's eve, new year's eve is quiet because nobody wants to i looked it up it's not it's not a busy time to fly well, everyone would just be getting pissed off and like kissing and shit. That's all New Year's is for. Josh, we're someone says, have to get how do you get started? With, how do you get? Uh, someone says, how do you get started with work when you can't be bothered? You just force yourself. You yeah. just like tell yourself, come on, you lazy fucking dumb cunt. <laughs> when are you gonna sit around playing The Last of Us Two in your fucking beanbag, you decadent piece of shit? Get to work, you fucking loser. There's people out there fighting wars. Yeah. Yeah, and then you just get to work. Josh, will you That's will we take a kiss on New Year's? Is that what's happening? Are we gonna take a kiss picture or what? We're gonna what? Are we gonna take a kiss picture or what? Because we're gonna be drinking wine wearing suits. <laughs> Discuss that.
Yeah, I mean, we'll see. I'm, uh, I might just like show up, go into my room, and cry all night. But you know, if I'm not, if that's not what's happening, then yeah, Josh, we can do that. Josh, you don't understand what I'm here, what I'm doing here for you. I'm bringing you into my house, into a new clean house. I'm deep cleaning this fridge tonight. It's on my to do list. I've got, I've gotten some assistance. I've, I've. I've gathered some assistance, and I, and I, it will be a team effort to be cleaning this fridge. It's not just me. I think it's going to be a warm, sweet welcome. This sounds nice, Nate. Okay. I think Josh is going to yeah. turn up and, and yeah. feel spirited. Like, okay, I'm in a new city. Bingo, hopefully, will be okay on the flight. And you're like, okay, I feel good. Nate's made some good jokes. Yeah. Let's have a beer. Let's have a glass of wine or whatever. Ring in the new year. Bang, bang. We've got a new Tedwood book dropping in the new year, Josh. It's all ready to go. Yeah, yeah, I should. Uh... I colored the, uh, the, the front and back hey, cover that time. Did you get to see that? As well. It's like a manga chat fucking book. Yeah, we've got a little factory going on here. Uh, but yeah, I put the PDF together yesterday, so I could probably send it to the printer today if you wanted. Yeah, I, I mean, we may as well get onto it. People are wet for all this Tedwood stuff. I mean. Yeah, yeah. The 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 copies we had at permanent damage the fifty limited edition uh, you know Kinko's copies went like hotcakes yeah and we got a lot of feedback uh, we got feedback from two people mm -hmm. Nate and Jasper I mean Nate and Jasper raved about it yes who are we? wait no no one else I'm just excited for this uh when is the the comics journal best of the year list you think the uh, autumnal grievance will be on there oh there's just there's some great stories in there, some great quotable lines. Mm -hmm. Everyone's going to be quoting some of those lines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know the ones I'm talking about. Yeah, what is it? I was like, uh, Don't say walking it. past the other day, and this kid pointed at me, and he goes, uh, actually, no, I'm not going to I'm not going to do it. Josh, you, <laughs> nice, you could have done it and gotten away with the night can. It's all yeah, if, if it's printed and it's characters doing it, it's okay. But if it's a man mm -hmm. saying it on a stream, it's not okay. Yeah, yeah. They're probably for the best that you don't. But yeah. Yes. What are we depraving the world of? We will never buy that book. Go to eBay and buy the World of Jones or Tom. Available on eBay for a minimum sixty dollars. Yeah, I saw there's some on there for seventy five oh, right now. It's oh, great. Trending on eBay. Yeah. yeah. Print more, they say. Print more. No. No, that's not true. That's what we're working on right now. We're doing a deluxe color reissue that will come out in the summer from uh, Fanographics. The, the, the zine we just put out is really for early birds. It's to wet your whistle. It's for hardcore collectors. There's you know, material in there you can't get anywhere else. Like, you know, back cover paintings and stuff like that. And it's the skeletal black and white versions. It's for nerds to like, oh, look at this one. Like, oh, look what they've done with the colors. And they compare them and they sit around for hours. You know, the people that are watching this stream, those sorts of people, you know, yeah. people like people like me, Josh or Nate, the, you know, frankly, the kind of people that sit around masturbating the comic books. Uh, yeah. That's pretty much all I did the first short time there. So I and so I, until I started to draw them and masturbate to my own ones. Yeah, and people it, like Ed Pisco uh, or Jim Rugg, hands chafed with ink. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm just have to throw out this desk I'm sad about. I've drawn every single comic since Goya 2 on this desk. Fuck, really? Yeah. Yeah. I get rid of it. That fucking sucks. Yeah, it's not, not like there's no way I could sell it because it's so covered in ink and scratches and like it's like it's absolute shit. Here, but donated to the Billy Island Museum. <laughs> yeah. I did think about posting on Instagram, be like, if anyone in LA wants this, but it's too shit condition. Well, someone's yep. gonna have a good time with it. Put it out in the street, someone will get it. Some young aspiring cartoonist. Yeah, yeah. We'll see all the neat stickers on there. I'm gonna lose this hollow oh. holographic sticker, Nate. Josh, I've got your stickers on mine. Look. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. God, man, it really is a deeply emotional time. I just, uh, I felt, I felt horrible last night. Also, there was another death in the family. A uh, suicide yesterday on the same day before Josh left and then Josh's mm -hmm. dog care was inadequate so we didn't even get to go to the pool hall we had like one beer and then we picked up some food and it was just yeah, cut, yeah. cut tragically short so it was so yeah very bleakly depressed last night and... yes 
same. I was, uh, yeah. I was in CVS yesterday, and I, yeah, it was quite awful moment. <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, you know, there's so many positives though as well. You know, like I was saying before, you guys are gonna have a great fucking time. And yeah, we got this and... book coming out. Maybe they'll maybe they'll ship me out to LA for some event for this book. That would be nice. What's the plan? I've talked about it before. I think Nate know babbling when your phone overheated. Josh saying, <laughs> I, "I want to get you and Nate to both come to Comic Con, and we we all line up and promote the book. We all worked on it together. All of our names are on the book. We all line no. up." We do live live manga chats from the harbour in yeah. beautiful San yeah. Diego. I'd, all I have to do is book the hotel room, and then we can make like a doodle zine to make the flight money, mm -hmm. and we can all have a bloody good time. Klaus might be there. Maria Bamford, big guest. Seth will be there. Seth, I don't know. Oh. Oh. Chris Ware, all the big ones. Art Spiegelman, and they'll all be at Comic Con. They love it. They all love the, the cosplay. They all come out for it. It's going to be yeah, yeah, yeah. People dressed up as Wimbledon Green and Enid Coleslaw. And... Oh, so many Enid Coleslaw cosplayers. So many. Who are the, what are the big cartoonists that will be there? I don't know. The Burliac, uh, Bastion Man. Viva, yeah, uh, Brandon Graham, all, all the big ones. Wait, did you, did you say, uh, what's his name? Uh, the French guy, Bastion? Criminale? Yeah. Bastion Vivi, is he, he going to be there? Uh, maybe. He's I mean, he's very had to escape. He's pulled like a reverse Polanski. <laughs> he's escaped France and he's come to the US. Yeah, yeah. He did lose an, an update. That was our lost episode. Josh was too scared to post it on YouTube, evidently. Josh! But we just... Come on. It, but anyway, yeah, Bastion did lose his show at Angle M. There's a massive uh, outcry. 100,000 people signed a big... Uh, campaign against him um, what happened France he used to be fun <laughs> yeah it used to be all Lolita type stuff or whatever now they're just like viscerally opposed to pedophilia or any hint of it if only the US could be the same <laughs> but still but yeah no I don't think Bastion should have lost his show really uh, I don't know he's made some questionable works but it does fall under the realm of comedy or satire probably uh, I don't know I don't think so. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, we'll probably get cancelled for lending vague support to someone. Yeah. <laughs> for like wishy washy vague support. <gasps> well we're not we're not supporting, we're just asking questions. We're just we're just saying do your own research. <laughs> That's what they always say. Well, he said it in an interview and then Josh told me and I was cracking up. It was just the idea of Bastion in his apartment tearing his hair out. Saying like it's just a kid with a big dick, it's funny, <laughs> and he's just all confused. Like what? what? <laughs> like, no. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know, quite farcical, really. Like, you know, the whole thing was quite funny. Not for him. Um, yeah. I'm sure yeah. it was absolutely terrifying for him. Uh, would have felt like Frankenstein's monster. <laughs> anyway, it's like so, a in comedy, though. It's a good situation. It's it would. It would be considered well-written if someone wrote it. Uh, who's going to play Bastion Vivas in the biopic? Uh, I love all the photos of Bastion as well. He's like, his shirt's and his tie's blowing back and all his hair's going off. He has this long mane of hair. And, and he's this like Frenchman with long hair. But it's like Peter yeah. Criminale and these photos of him like, it's Michael Jackson-esque. Kind of like, oh! <laughs> it was really cracking me up. But again, I really felt bad for the guy. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, pretty fucking bizarre to have all these people after you like that. Yeah, it must have felt really horrible. Oh, you know, we'll feel what it's like. Maybe next year. Maybe next year. Maybe yeah, after yeah. this. I don't, it doesn't take much to set them off these days. So Once the casual yeah. fans get a hold of the book. Yeah, a few casuals. A few, you know, like rarians or something. Like, they're just, oh, I don't know. They'll, someone will have to complain, surely. I welcome it. <laughs> I am that it's a general like reception of this book because there is some dodgy stuff in these in this the material of this book. Well, it's just horrible bad dad comedy. I don't know. We just didn't cut anything off limits. We're just trying to crack ourselves up. And, uh, I don't know. Yeah, I think and there's a lot of truth to a lot of stuff, and it's you know. Yeah. A lot of it's autobiographical or, you know, like hints at autobiography or spun off from things, you know. It's, we've both mined things from our horrible childhoods. And... So if anyone complains, it's like, oh, fuck you. Yeah. I, 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 I remember you were 17 and, and 
and you were being ripped to shreds about your landscape or your portrait. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah brutal, yeah. brutal, like, telling you about it. And it's love, almost yeah. like you, uh, you, like, they're telling you and you made it. You know what it is. I love getting harassed by a bunch of ill-informed middle-class cunts on Twitter. Yeah. Oh, yeah, tell me how it is, you fucking cunts, you soft cunts. <laughs> fucking yeah. come at me. Yeah, fuck well, specifically for, for uh, Diesel and Jackson being um, filmed, you know? And it's like... It's oh, what well, did you they... publicly oh, said it's autobiographical before. It was mostly because they misinterpreted stuff about Tilly Walden and comic was about white guys being lame or just satirizing the whole thing or satirizing everyone. It's supposed to be the fun of Tilly Walden, who I respect a lot. Mm-hmm. Anyway, it all kicked off. Yeah, do, do they have problems with the Diesel and Jackson? Uh, well, let's see, Werewolf Jones takes photos of the boys, like pornographic photos, and then puts them on to Werewolf, uh, onto Al's computer. Because yeah. Al did a, did a, a bad review of Werewolf Jones' zine on the hooded utilitarian. <laughs> so he sabotages Al and gets Al Al, Al is brutally assaulted in prison. Like there's, a, there's a big one-page sequence where he's just gotten out of prison. He's just battered on a bus. That's what happens in prison. You get put into a big room with, like, 16 other gentlemen, um, and they beat the fucking shit out of you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't recommend it. No, no, no. No, it takes a long time to get through the system, and... You know, I have to stop watching prison documentaries. It's just, it really depresses me. I haven't done that for a while, but I used to do it all the time. My yeah, dad... I think my just it just makes you anxiety and it's not... Yeah, Russian prisons, Cambodian prisons, Brazilian prisons, like all of them, just yeah, fascinating, fascinating, horrible man, just man's inhumanity to man. It's not yeah, even... I went for a, it's, yeah. yeah, a period of watching a lot of Locked Up Abroad. Oh, yeah. It's just what we're so horrible as humans. We just, I don't know, we just fall back into this primal mode of just dominance and cruelty, and yeah, like group mentalities and racism. Like, it, why does it? It always falls into like, you know, if you're white, you have to join the white people in jail, and otherwise, you know, other way around. It's so primitive. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Fascinating stuff, but yeah, fascinating. It's, yeah, true true unrelenting horror of daily life and reality. I really hope I don't ever have to go there one day. Man, yeah, yeah. we all pay our... in. And it would be like, man, you remember all those old Maggie chats when before he was in prison? Was That's in how they'll talk about prison. someone when they go to prison. Oh, before he was in prison. He'll come out, out with all weird tattoos and stuff, all gang tattoos. He'll come and... out with a, the whole, with a whole graphic novel. I always felt... I would always fantasize about that. If I would get in jail, I would probably just be making comics. But I would yeah. it'd be, like, ripped up. I think you'd just be getting passed around and people having their way with you. <laughs> yeah, I would get in trouble for making comics about my, my uh, bed roommate or something. <laughs> There's no fucking way you're publishing that on the commissary Xerox machine, you little cunt. <laughs> I'll get you the FedEx. <laughs> Fuck is this? This is far too personal. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I told you, I told you that at three AM when we were on the bunk beds after I just <laughs> mauled a sledgehammer. What the fuck? Yeah, I blew you for like an hour. <laughs> I, oh, so at that point. If I'm in prison, fuck them. Yeah, we're not just going to not do anything. It's, you know, it's not too hard. I've, I've managed it throughout 41 years of life to just, you know, not do anything that would put me in prison, you know. Well, you can always you to... the wrong place at the wrong time, and that's my feeling. Well, true, true. I mean, there's, you know, lots of people. You know, can you imagine that? Just the feeling of, like, in for life, and you, you know that you didn't do it. God, the, the, the injustice of it all. Oh. Yeah, yeah. It would be absolutely fucking horrific. Yeah, nightmare, absolute nightmare. Stripped from your, your child and your wife and oh, your, your PS5. Oh, God, you're awful. We'd have to keep it going. I'm sorry. Yeah. We'd have to keep this going. We would not mention it or bring it up. Sorry, what? If this were to happen, we'd have to keep the show going. We would not, have, we would not bring up anything 
We would ignore every question. Well, you know, we could get Josh in on the phone or something. It could, you know, it'd be Josh. I mean, you know, if anyone was going to. Yeah, it'd be a bit like Midnight Express, where you know the tits up against the glass. You know, <laughs> and then you... Oh gosh, nightmare, nightmare. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Manga chat life in the prison yard. Every <laughs> Christmas day, every Christmas day, let us all three of us went to prison. Every Christmas day, let us do a little show. We just talk about not even comics. We just talk about our lives and uh, talk about our lives. I was, we should do a uh, like USO manga chat. <coughs> well, apparently now Instagram, instead of just shutting down your live video at the hour mark, it just freezes up. And it leaves you sitting in silence and wondering why no one's talking back at you. And you assume you just dropped a big, big clangor and your friends have abandoned you. But and you go and get and you look up. They just do two hour videos. They, 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 they're freezing us. They're shutting it down. They're giving you two minute warnings. They're not giving you two minute warnings. It's ridiculous. Oh, really? Outrageous. Is Josh just, even coming in here? What's going on? Did he pass on? Josh, then I'll hit it again. Sometimes you have to hit them twice. Here he comes. There he is. It's on the other side. Oh. Swap sides. Was getting really worried. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, my God. Don't you guys love being in pencil world, though? It's it's. It's nicer than being in in, yeah, in inking world sometimes. I'm enjoying this. I just quickly, I'm enjoying this penciling. Yes, I, I was hating it. It was really hard to get started, but now I'm deep into it, loving it. It's so it's so low stakes. So much more low stakes than uh than than inking. You get the the brainlessness of of inking. That bliss is what you pay for yeah, with uh, how tedious you have to be. Because this is just pencil lines. Your just your nice. pencils are beautiful, mate. I, I understand why that spash thing was going to happen with the, the printed pencils. So, there's such a lustrousness to your pencils. You have all these deep shadows and this smudgy sort of weird. I don't know. They're beautiful. Yeah. It's just because my I'm just my hands are really dirty and I'm just I don't really care. But you, my, you my put all these extra detail into it and stuff. And so you really beautifully overworked <laughs> pencils, perhaps. So, but yeah, lovely. I'm okay. trying to be less. I'm trying yeah, to do that less shit, because it's a waste of time. My pencils are loose and the shittiest fucking boss. pencils these days. But you know, you draw a character for like fucking fourteen years, you can run a little bit on autopilot. Yeah. yeah. I mean, also, it's 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 just it's way you do a lot of the drawing and the inking anyway. It's just, I just get caught up with the feeling of how, how I'd, I'd pencil, love to just get see a comic and, like you yeah. if you did like a one or two pages it was just like that dense beautiful pencil style like no you don't ink it it's just gray red pencil like the gecko cover like the original I saw once which is beautiful gray red pencil work a comic like that would be lovely yeah um, oh I plan on it that's that's supposed to be the second book uh, of uh, 2023. Yeah. I want to do all yeah. the pencil in it. It's, it's written down beautiful. on my so Even list. just a one page or just like a test or something. Uh, yeah. Yeah, because it's it's so much, It's the, the, you can get a lot of different moodiness out of that that you just can't get you yeah. know, doing it with pens. And I like that moodiness. It's a good tool. Josh, we're going to be cooking up some crazy yeah, books. I have, uh, yeah, i got to finish Victory Squad as soon as I get finished with this book and then uh, straight to, like, the fun stuff again. Bang. Yeah. yeah get well, there's no reason that the ending of Victory Squad can't be something fun, too. You could just make yeah, it I'm sure you can. weird yeah, you know, to fun. fit and just be a crazy ending. I told Josh yesterday, Nate, that you and me and – I think you were asleep, Nate, actually. I think you passed out at that point. But, but oh, was he still awake, Josh? But anyway, Jasper and Josh and potentially you and I will talk about <laughs> Victory Squad at length and all these different ways it could go down. And I think we were all quite, you know, inebriated and just uh, mm -hmm. was all tired. In your case, you were just sleepy and fell asleep in the green bag um, after all your candy. I, I I don't okay. remember any of this. Yeah, I was I so it. out of no it, but I wish. I, I it was a great this. conversation. Great I do. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you do. <laughs> good. 
He did a voice no. memo. Did. You, you, tra- you transform into this, like, this, this greasy sort of Casanova <laughs> character. And, yeah. It's cute. It's the, he's, yeah. He becomes a yeah, thing yeah. like this. Yeah. There. That was, a, that was a magical night. We didn't even need to go to fun parks. Just hung out and just rambled about comics and oh, writing. Oh, lovely. It was a fantastic night. I don't you know, waste time with roller coasters and. Yeah. You know, Been there, done that. The last thing I remember is just watching you guys play Ninja Turtles and then the Ninja Turtles started laughing at me. I thought you played it. I thought you played Ninja and Turtles. And then I just, it all went four, black. Four player. Yeah. I know, but I, I set it down and I said, fuck this. And I sat yeah. down on the beanbag yeah. just, to, just to watch them. And they were dancing and they were just taunting well, me. Well, my, my was so controller was broken, so I only had a dance button. So I could just, I was Michelangelo and all I could do was dance. So, you know. Yeah, it was yeah, yeah. That, I, I remember that. I did not enjoy it at all. It was a, Josh and I have played two player beat em ups and it was fun. But it was four. Right, was, yeah. We were all too fucked up. It was just a clusterfuck. It was dancing buttons only. It was. Except for that last cunt level where we gave up. Yeah, that was horrible. Yeah, that we got to a hard level and it's just like, we're not doing that again. Like, that's it. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, the fun and games are done. Yeah, there's more fun going for a bike ride or something anyway. Yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> I'm right now I'm drinking a sort of dead dog in a gutter. <laughs> just outside Will Jones' house, just cracking me up. <laughs> so wait, what page is that? Is that is that like a, a back uh, contents page back or like a cap page? What yeah. is that specific? Oh. Yeah, dead, Whoa. Dead dog so you're dead leaving space for that barcode. Cover, hidden in the corner. <clears throat> and a uh, dead dog on the back cover. Another yeah, classy geez. book from Simon Hansel and Old Friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. It's great. We've got HTML flowers in there. We've got Nate Garcia doing some experimental coloring. And it's, oh, it's lovely. Yeah, it's, it's the, the, the book production so, stuff is so, it's so beautiful to me because you could just do, like, just leaving space for a barcode and, and still having it be so artistic is like, it's cool. It's like, it's like um, yeah, art it is, for a product. It's fun. Because this isn't... It's going pretty simple with this one. Right? Yeah. How much... Do you just guess what yeah, the barcode yeah, size do, is going to yeah. be? Most people have the designers do their books mm. for them, but I staunchly do it all myself. Uh, so I, I get some assistance, like seeds and stems. I laid out how I wanted that sticker that went over the plastic, orange plastic piss guard thing. And then Jacob uh, laid it out for me on his magic computer. So I didn't want to hand do it. I wanted it to look synthetic, like official, kind of, you know. Yeah, so he helped out. And Keely McCarthy helped out Bad Gateway with a bit of the lettering. I, I was exhausted, frankly. I've told this story before, I think. I was almost having a mental breakdown from overworking myself, and um, um, which I do and don't recommend. It's both beautiful and stupid. The Dark Nights oh, of 2018, only br- few remember because brutal, only yeah, few were The cover there. I mocked up was dog shit, but Keely stepped in and... And we had a bit of a fight because she was. We argued about the back cover. I won, thank God. Because no offense, Keely, loved you, but, but your back cover sucked. Um, it was difficult for me to rescind. The, you know, yeah, too simple. I, I don't know. Just, yeah, the, the, the back. You know. I mean, I'm not personally a fan of these covers where you kind of look at them and you're not sure. Could this be a drawing? Or if it's completely digitally uh, manufactured, you can also always tell if it looks like it's like a transparent, like like a, like a lot of the like the really sparsely designed covers are yeah, just like it couldn't possibly be a drawing. Inside the book, and I like know, the... thicker lines and just colored or something. Just like, you know, that's fine yeah. for a classic comics thing, but for like a new book, it's like come on, you didn't have time to like picture a cover and like you know like the covers where you want to like make some effort. You it's so to... disheartening because. Yeah, the cover should be like it's like you should have a dream like that you, you you're holding this book and it's a very specific. I like very to, yeah, I like to do a nice painting. You know? Yeah, and I think that's very classy. I mean, you're only following the footsteps of 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at this man. Like I, uh, Frank Volume Two. I bought that book back in the nineties. Like I had all the material in it except for one little four-page thing. But just the back cover. There was a back cover painting on it. It was just so fucking beautiful. The bushes and the rock, and it was just Frank peeping around this rock and. Yeah, yeah, I was broke back then. I mean, I had no fucking money, but it was, you know, it was like a forty dollar book in Australia in the nineties, and I had to have it just for a four page comic. I didn't have, and a fucking beautiful back cover painting. Man, Jim Woodring, he knows how to make a book. Well, those covers stick in your oh, mind like like nothing right. else either. They really, really do. I remember seeing your covers for the first time, Simon, and I've, I've been seeing them around for a long time and just wondering what it was. And every time I, I like, uh, I, I remember it and it Lovely. stuck in my mind even more. It doesn't, it, I just, well, I just remember a time when I didn't know what the fuck those books even were. And I would see that, see like the few that were out and just be that like, <laughs> I don't know, very intrigued. It don't I look love, like anything else. I love that when you see something, you just, it just intrigues you. You don't really know what it is. So, but I, I, Yeah, I can't understand. Yeah. Like, what the hell even is that? Yeah. What is There's that? The video store I was like mad scene, Just like certain videos, like the blob, like ghoulies with like a little gremlin in a toilet. It's just like stuck in my mind, that little gremlin in the toilet. It still haunts me to this day. And when I was a kid, it terrified me. I thought they were like goblins in the toilet. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I used to be afraid of this movie. Cop, you ever seen this movie? Cop in the Ass from the eighties, and it it showed all of these like old time gangsters with these boots, and they were they're like breaking into into apartments and getting to know the neighbors so that they didn't care when they saw each other in the apartment just to kidnap the kid. Oh my gosh, Jesus. I was so afraid of being kidnapped. My mom would watch all the Casey Anthony trials. It was. It was a constant fear of being taken away, being yeah, kidnapped no, no, no. by some man. I remember seeing, I don't know if you know the actor Brian Dennehy, but he's a decent guy. But I saw like a midday movie when I was like eight. Where like Brian Dennehy worked at like a uh, Kmart or something, and he kidnapped young men and chained them up and sodomized them in the roof of the Kmart or whatever. And so I was like eight, and it was horrible. I couldn't go to a Kmart without it. Like, see like an old man, like an old sort of graying Brian Dennehy man, like, oh, I'm like, it really, yeah, too, too, yeah, too young to be seeing these, these midday movies. Crazy and associated, associated store what? That. It'll make you never want to go to that store. Yeah, yeah, no, you, you get yeah. chained up and, and sodomized by Brian Dennehy. Yeah, some of those, some of those midday movies. Uh, two adult, mostly they were nice ones, like to dance with the white dog. It was like a old man whose wife died, and she comes back with a white dog, and they like dance together, and it's beautiful, and you know. But yeah, sometimes it was Brian Dennehy sort of like young man in the, in the roof of a Kmart. I'd stay home from school, and like, oh, what's the midday movie? Like, oh no. Hmm. Well, pain, but people say pain is temporary, <laughs> film is forever. And so just the fact that you remembered it means it was worth yeah. all the trouble. Yeah, horrible movies. Lots, lots, of, lots of horrible movies about kids being kidnapped in the 90s. We'd see them as kids. It was, it was very scary. It's probably worse now. It's probably more creepy uh, child, you know, Bastion Vives types lurking around now. <laughs> But no, 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 because every kid's got a phone. They can cancel their kidnapper with the with the click of a button because they're all they're all locked in. And, I guess and they can bang, I'm can loaded. I'm locked in. And yeah, go on to TikTok and do a dance and say like, "Hey, yo, in the back of the car, going past the Denny's on something lane." No, kids are just talk get, my generation's just talking to the camera now. No more, no more dancing. It's just straight communication. Is just how much. They're just screaming to avoid their misery. You know? oh, Speaking of scary. It's getting really, really at the bottom of the barrel. No shit in all this original art. It's fucking terrifying me. Oh, dude. Do you got to take that shit with you? What are you doing? You can't I can't it. take this on the plane. There's too much. You got bingo. Like, are you taking your computer with you? Yeah. yeah, I have to ship that too. And I found the original box so I can just ship it in there. You're shipping the computer? Yeah, yeah. Are you going to overnight it or? 
I have to figure it out. That's what I'm kind of doing right now. God, yeah, fucking hell. The, yeah, shipping this. Josh, if there's any way that your original art can fit in your bag, yeah, but it's just one. It's like it's it's bigger than the. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You draw too big. That's the problem. I can fit everything I've got in a little baby. Yeah. I, I, it's I, not. Well, well, I guess there's no, there's no use beating a dead horse now. If you're hopeless. It's good. It comes with the tracking, so that's good. I drove down with my precious, very heavy tub of original art. and I was going to stay at this hotel in Sacramento. But I panicked. I couldn't stay there. The parking lot was huge. There's no security, no underground parking, like <clears throat> a lot of dicey activity right around the hotel. And I asked the guy that, you know, the desk, will it be safe? And he was like, oh, I can't guarantee anything. And like, ah. and I was like, fuck this. And because the car was stuffed, they had all like my mannequins in it, like Meg and stuff, and like my computer, all my original, art, like you know, my rabbit's ashes, like. Everything, all, all my really personal stuff, like all my favorite shoes. So I just, you know, the car looked tasty as well. I mean, someone walked by, I, you know, I can understand predators are in the area, they're jonesing because of fentanyl to put in their bottom. So what's this witch in this car? Oh, there's a computer. There's, oh, there's a Nintendo. Look at that. You know, it's an attractive looking sexy car. Oh, oh, I, I should have been stolen without so a I ended doubt. Up at like a Best Western with minimally decent camera. It was under, open underground parking, but with a camera. And the nice guy at the desk, I, I gave him like 30 bucks or something and said like, you know, just keep an eye on the camera. Like, this is why it buzzed me if like this shit going down. And he was, he seemed capiche. Like he, he was going to do it uh, and everything was okay. You're also just straight up telling him that there's valuable stuff in it. He could go then and then steal all your stuff uh, in your he car. Was a, he was yeah, yeah, on the camera almost. anyway. It was full of mannequins, rare Meg mannequins, one one of one mannequins. I mean, he was, oh, crap, that's a Meg mannequin. I'll sell that on eBay. But he did. You know, I took, I, Jasper took a picture of me next to Booger with, on that on that, that night of inebriated sloshness. And Jasper, the pervert that he is, told me, grab Booger's dick. And I did. And <laughs> it's it's the closest I've ever felt to just, I mean, I was, I was fucked disgusting. up looking at this, this thing. Feeling the so it's a oh. soft silicone cock in underneath the the underwear. It freaked me out so much, and it's life size. I'm looking in its eyes. Oh, I'm sorry, it's like, Jasper it should not be happening this, at this all. Dolls acting penis. Good lord, that's yeah, yeah. amount to an assault. That's a good, that's kind of what I was thinking a little bit too. But I think your mannequins is just. Um, they're frozen in time, oh, so they can't like really do dolly. much. It's got some movement to it. Well, I hope you got your jollies, Jasper, making Nate do that. It's disgusting. It was very Pindo concerning. Out. It was like, like whoa. 21. He's, he's you know, legal of, of age, so driving, drinking, voting age, and you know, you're underage, Nate. So really, I mean, that was a real Bastion Vives move there from, uh, from our French Joseph. Yeah, it's not the I first don't time I've let that slide. On the show, frankly, um, sorry to any Jasper mm -hmm. Juvenile fans that are disappointed by this news have found out about this. Uh, I'm sure you'll all be off the Twitter to let the right people know about this, so this can go around through the Whisper networks or just the Out Loud networks and get young Jasper thoroughly cancelled. Uh, Eddie, 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 Eddie from. Uh, I had a guy. I had a guy on Twitter today who I've been selling this PDF in desperate times. This is on a desperate measure era right now selling these pdfs selling my soul and this guy wanted to get the he wanted to get everything he was going to send me 25 dollars i said cool have you got that oh, yeah, yeah. he said actually this was this shit sucks your new stuff your, your old stuff is shit your new stuff is better was that and real he said never mind and so i sent a heartbreak emoji. he actually got trolled what? like that by some guy Oh, I, I saw that. That troll is fuck. I sent a heartbreak emoji. He posted it. He posted a screenshot of my heartbreak emoji on Twitter. He said, "I just trolled him." Laughing emoji. It's so actually sad. happened to you. So sad. It's so it's scummy. Really happy. Yeah. Manga. Yeah. You get into. Yeah, I was saw it happen I real time. To Let's go find this guy on Twitter. Come on, Manga Chat Task Force. Come on. Nate's he might. Brother. He seems like he might just be a little bit um, of like a young special kid. So I don't know. Nate Gus 
see you at all costs. Get on over there and harass this guy, everyone. Go and tell him what you, what you really think of him. Go on. Swarm, swarm. Yeah, yeah. Well, he said, he said, he said, I troll, I, I trolled Nick Garcia into thinking that I had Venmo. So what? So what do you have? PayPal, Cash App? He's just laughing I'll, I'll with all his buddies. They're all having a big laugh. Like, oh, you got him. He thought he had a bag of fish in the fridge, and now he doesn't have his fish back. No fish. Oh man, but I was, I was, I was like, man, well, I really just got punked. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't. I felt so old. I felt What's like this name? I felt Ashton elderly. Kutcher. Justin. No, I forget. I forget his name. I, 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 you can I see on Nate's story, story if you want to harass him, which I don't recommend you do. I do. <laughs> oh, no, that was, was a okay. friend, Josh. Oh, then you can't, no one can see it then. So YouTube can't get us for doxing. Yeah, yeah, no. I got. I got to go and make like five more trips to the post office. Oh fuck! Really? Yeah, I got right now. I got like an hour and a half to like keep going back and forth with all these boxes of medium. Oh gosh, piecemeal. Yeah, yeah. You can't enlist a local crackhead to help you. I mean, if that if that guy is woken up, the one with his trousers around his ankle. Cockman, cockman, help you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's worth it. All right. Well, yeah. well, I'm going to do this, but if you guys keep talking, I'll uh, upload it tonight. What are your neighbors to help? I mean, I'm sure they'll help you with your stuff. They'll take your stuff for you. Yeah, yeah, actually. Yeah, yeah go on. take it home with Get them. There. You stop being so shy. <laughs> <laughs> Josh, you can't be shy in LA for this. Yeah, moment. yeah. You Just, make it it comes off as hostile, Josh. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if there's some like people in this building are happy not knowing, but yeah. Alright, you guys enjoy your manga chat. Yes, you enjoy not getting murdered. Yeah. Hopefully. Yeah, 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 right, bye. He's always got an excuse, this guy, just leaving whenever he wants, acting like this is not clocked in time that he's being paid for by the by the television uh um, you know the 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 HR. We're, we're taking good care of him here, and he's well, still finds a way to leave every so single time. To run out of battery within six minutes, anyway. Well, it's excuses after excuses. It's not. It's like get. You know, he just wants to keep living in. I think shit, in shit phone world. I guess. I don't know. I can only blame him for so long before it starts to. Oh, you have to live with him himself, now. So. I mean, <clears throat> now that he's gone, I mean, my God, yeah. mate, how are you going to manage? He's well, British. I don't know. It's he's going just to like... Smiths all the time. He's a staunch monarchist. Oh, gosh. If I hear baby shambles more than twice a week, I think I'll have to... It, I'll have it's going to be all, all docking all the time. Everything about weather spoons. Oh, there's no weather yeah. spoons. There's no good vegan weather spoons in the area. To be honest, I do kind of feel bad for him. Just, just the fact, just, the, just, just a grown adult's gonna have to be putting up with my um, shenanigans that I pull. I mean, I, I can have some shenanigans. It's not. I, 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 Josh was a family man before this. He was ready to be old and settle down, and now he's just got to go yeah. backwards. And I think Josh likes a bit of shenanigan, now. though. We all do. Yeah. I mean, he was just vomiting in toilets this past weekend. He was like, all rock and roll and cruising around in Ubers and not remembering it and stuff. And like, he's, he's ready to party. Once he's yeah, here. I think so, too. But I don't know. I still feel, I feel, I feel guilty because I'm not changing my ways. I will be I will be conscious of my new roommate, but I can't yeah, change now. You are it's who too you late are. to change. He needs to accept you for who you are, and you accept him for who he is, and hopefully you can make it work. You know, it's just roommate one hundred and one. You've had roommates, you know how it works. You know the dance. Yeah. Uh, I've had two already. Yeah, it's, it's but but it's pretty it's pretty adolescent the things yeah, that go on in this house. Well, playing with fidget spinners, pogs. Are you doing pogs and stuff? Uh, <laughs> Lots of pogs, but these are the things that have to happen when you grow up. 
And Josh has already grown up. He's already had his share. And so I, I, I have a lot of fear of you bringing know, you him back into it. Like, you know. Limp Biscuit or Soggy Sayo, are you? We all crowd around and like jerk off and the, the first one to come on the biscuit has to eat it. You don't know that, are you? We're not talking that youth, Paul. No, but there's boner, been boner some boner contests yeah, yeah, in the but, past, okay, but that's, that's high cool. school. So, okay, so you progressed to boner contest. That's good to hear. I've progressed from it. I don't do it anymore. That's that's really adolescent. Oh, shit. I didn't, I didn't I really on that one. All right. Okay. Yeah, right now it's more, it's just more like, I don't know. I have people, I have some people over sometimes, and I, I, I used to play Records really loud, but I I don't have a record player anymore because it's my roommate. He, he so. lives in LA, so he's he, you know he's used to guns. He's used to being threatened and harassed whenever he walks his dog. Um, so I think he'll be all right. I don't. I think he'll be fine. I don't think he'll. I think music will be okay. And you know, he's got his room. Yeah, I'll be record. Yeah, I'll be recording my demos too. too. You've got to get him back into his hope he doesn't hate that. You've got to get you know. Get him to buy oh, a cheap guitar and get him to like you know bring it back. I just also I just want him to I want him to hear him I want to hear him sing. I yeah, we got to get him. Well, it's got to be we got to do like a manga singer. chat musical or something. Like we can pre-record the songs and, and then we can dance oh, along with them one episode God. and stuff and have like a choreographed musical episode. We'll spend weeks working on it. <clears throat> I think that that would be really cool. It, ha it would have to be in real life. Well, maybe. Um, we, could, we could film it like, you see those Gilbert Hernandez short films? It could be like oh. that. Oh, yeah, man. We can aim for this for, uh, for Comic Con. And we'll, we'll, we'll make it happen at some point. First, we have to write all the songs. But, yeah. We could be Josh like Ranking rap. Bass. I, oh, I really yeah. think so. I would love. I, I really would love to do a musical. It's in. My, it's in my I mean, hopes yeah. and dreams. I mean, if I was involved in a musical. shitty musical, because I'm not very good at music, but you know, a shitty musical is still a musical. Uh, that would be great. You can Josh write a chorus. I'm sure. Josh can rap. You know what's like beats with like dun 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 dun, dun, dun. like some British fanfare. Oh, like, can you imagine Josh uh, I'm rapping? I'm rapping over some British fanfare. You know. I like going to Weatherspoons. Now it could just—he could just—he could just scream into the into the the microphone, just you know, sporadically throughout the whole song, where it's just instrumental. Yeah. He'll just be like, "I'm hungry. I didn't I really eat a lot today." Well, he could just sort of sing, talk, like you know, it could be a bit like the Fall or something, like you know, like those hipster bands that just sort of talk over music. Yeah. You could be like uh, Fontaine's oh, DC. Man. Yeah, gotta get him to do this. I think, you know, I'm sure the chat, I'm not looking at the chat right now, but I'm sure it's blowing up. Like, people are like, yes, Josh has to sing. We've got to get Josh to get back in the studio. We demand it. I mean, he used to be in, in, the, in the famous hardcore band Youth Decay, if people want to find that one from when like, I mean, Josh. Yeah, they had some amazing old. demos. No. Did you ha have you actually heard I was them? Just playing along. Oh. I very desperately did want to hear that because that is really his band. He put uh, Youth Decay in Goiter Two, like like the, yeah, yeah, yeah. like a record. There's no, background. there's no proof. It's crazy. I think it's Josh, like my grandfather or something. Like he, the way he describes his his, his upbringing is like the '60s. Like he's so I, he was so isolated from everything, and you know he got beat up for wearing Converse in school because they hadn't come to the Isle of Wight yet. But he saw them in a mute blink. 82 music video. It's like my these stories are gold, golden well, yeah, geese. This is why Josh got on quite well because of both you know, the island boys. You know, I grew up in 80s Tasmania, so you know, similar. You know, just getting beaten up and called a puff all the yeah. time and beaten up and yeah, it was, uh, it was a weird scene. Yeah, I can relate. No internet or anything. We had to just you know put candles on and listen to records and. Yeah, yeah, the albums are expensive. Yeah, you, know, you have like two albums. You have to be very careful to pick the right ones. Josh is very wise too. I've learned so much from Josh. Is I mean, it, it, now it's like he's dead, and this is like the memorial manga chat. But I mean, I learned so much. Josh has been there for, for me for every major like thing that's ever happened since 2020 in my life. He's just been very. Uh, uh, like it's a gonna be like having a new dad. dad. I think you boys have a great time.
Josh will teach you lots of lessons. He'll teach you how to shave. I'm swimming. Oh my gosh! If he could teach me how to shave, <laughs> it's the whole package it's, deal. It's, yeah, I've never actually seen him clean shave. Isn't he? I think he just uses a spoon or something on his face. I don't know, like a hot spoon. Yeah. Oh, Did you teach oh, Grant a lot of lessons? Bike. You know, took him to the zoo for the first time. Lots of big, you know, to a swing. He'd never been in a swing before, so you know, I'd push him on a swing. Yeah, lots of stuff. Really. Yeah, it's, it's just, it's honestly, it's just crazy how, how all of this has worked out. Like, you know, Josh and I would do like call, call all the time while we draw in like 2021, 2020, and like now, um, now he'll just be here while I draw. You can just see, we don't even have to call him. It's crazy. It's great. Um, losing him though. It's like a marriage. I've heard with him, you know, I've had my, I've had my, my go with him. It's been a very enjoyable year and a half or so. Uh, he's, he's, he's a good friend. You enjoy him now. He's, he's, he passes on to you. He's like a genie or something. I've had my three wishes with Josh. And that's your turn. Your turn. Whoa. That's three oh. zines. Three zines, three wishes. He's like a kinder surprise. He's three wishes in one. Mm -hmm. uh, uh. Man, I w it would be so cool to see Josh start doing some uh, colored pencil um, covers and weird stuff like that. Do you remember in a Gordon did, 7 he, he was doing? He did some pencil stuff. He was he doing that. Um, and then he scrapped it all. And he was telling me he's like, he like threw away like whole unfinished goiters that he had that he penciled and wrote and just terrible. never did. And he just threw them away. I don't, he's like, he didn't have the money to ship them. He's not going to pay to just yeah. ship them to just sit under a desk. I told him he should have just put them up for sale for as little as anything. Because it's more than he made. Going to pay just $2 or near a stuff. Yeah. 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 That's. Oh. But yeah, his problem it's with bleak. pencil stuff, he was doing the big pages. It was like a big, massive. 11 by 17 page and he wanted the pencils to go smooth like uh it'd piss me off like, that's why i draw real small with the pencils so i can you know you know you, you gotta be real careful like you know I'm, I'm doing like really little like you know bit by bit sometimes to get it real smooth and then delicate smudging and so if you got to fill in a big flat area like it's a lot of work it's really hard on the wrist and yeah you, if you get you know he, yeah I, he didn't want textures he wanted it to be smooth Yeah, I, th I thought the same. I mean, it's just literally just because he was working so big. You've got to do it yeah, small. Yeah, it's quicker, like, yeah. Like a long story. But yeah. It would piss me off at the time. I remember saying to him, like, oh, I'd, I'd be losing my mind if uh, if I was you. Yeah. But the, here's the problem. He finished that, that whole, that whole, the whole story, so he just decided he just didn't like it. But he still yeah. finished it and didn't publish it. I say for a book collection, he probably. Maybe, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to put Girl Mountain out. It was a learning experience. I've said that many times. It's like 240 pages of work no one will ever see, or just people that visit my studio. But that's fine. It was a learning experience. I learned what not to do. And it's fine that you know. But you know, then again, you know, you you not putting out Plum Pocket has very financially. You know, it's given you a big hit. You spent time working on that, and now you can't reap the money from it. Um. I'm so, you know, you need to, you know, if you have but... to release the work, sometimes you have to. Maybe maybe Josh will get desperate and have to reprint Goiter 1 or something this year. Like, you know. He already did that in 2020. He, he, was, he was desperate and did a reprint it with a new cover. Oh, my God. I have. <laughs> you never <laughs> seen that? It was out of desperation. No, if that ever gets real bad, I'll do a quick rewrite of Plum Pocket where there's no words. Well, I'll just forge on with the new out. thing. But yeah, I think we're all just excited about whatever this new thing is. Again, beautiful penciling. Some of the stuff in the stories, I don't know if it was close friends or for the public. Uh, no, that was, I posted for the penciling. public sometime. I'd be, be, be surprised if you Thanks. don't get hit up by the old spash man trying to, trying to get you to spash it up. Is that still going to happen? Will that, will that, yeah, I mean, I left him in the dust with the Spash. I don't blame him. Was that ever announced publicly? Yeah, we, it was announced publicly when the book was announced. Um, 
So there was going to be a, a Frank Santoro was going to publish a fully penciled version of Plum Pocket with just the scanned no, pencils is, for this each is, page this is, this is, and a bunch of other cool stuff. This is too. He was designing it. It looked really Frank good. Santoro, uh, I used to run the. Yeah. It would have been cool. I mean, I, he says I, he's, he he gave me the blessing to just do it, and I probably will just still do it. But I'm curious if if anybody would even want it. But I'm going to be scanning think, these originals. Frank's still in go. prison, isn't he? Um, after the whole comics workbook uh, cult uh, incident. The house fiasco oh, with the house the fiasco. There, and, uh, oh, I understand with the few, fake house in there, but it's yeah, not fake. But the something. money's fake. I don't know what happened. Something about some. Poison spaghetti or some pierogies or something. I'm not sure. But... Yeah, with some 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 lies, some paper based lies, some empty promises and empty bank accounts. Is that what I hear? No, no, I, no, are my ears it. deceiving there was something me? Something going on. Um, yeah, Frank is in jail. I don't wish to speculate. Mm. Fiasco after fiasco. Yeah, I mean, no, it's been but... dog fighting with uh, Larry Reed, uh, the, the Seattle. Fanographic store. I remember, we used to talk about the dog fighting ring a lot. But, uh, I think that was all sort of cleared up. Uh, yeah, I'm drawing this dead dog right now. I really can't believe, it. and I, I've only been to Seattle once, standing at Alex Graham's house, and, and uh, for short run this year. I can't believe he really lived there for so long. Like that's not a place where I would ever, I could ever imagine. Uh, I don't know. Like, I, don't know. I mean, I guess it made sense because Jack yeah. Jack lived there, right? So it's like uh, I don't know. It just it seems like a place where you'd you'd only have to be really yeah, rich or really bit. young to. Our yeah, neighborhood was there. all right. Uh, you know, it started getting a bit street shitters in the end, but uh, it was nice. We had nice neighbors, uh, nice various you know different types of neighbors, old and young, and it was it was all right. Uh, you know. mm. But yeah, no, the tech industry definitely destroyed the city. You're going to be rich as fuck. You know, big Amazon or tech Google Boeing job or whatever or. Uh, yeah, or really, really scummy. Yeah, the city baffled me. I, I just couldn't believe that it was a real place. Like, uh, just like normal people lived. I can't, it, it, it doesn't strike me as a place where any cart cartoonists would be able to survive, well, you know, let alone. Speaking of, like, I, many of I do know some over friends, years mutual, and years. friends that you know as well. I thought you know of the mutual friends, sort of, the, the comics people. I think they are starting to consider getting out of the city. It's like they're having to look for a new place, and it's. It's really difficult. And these are like stalwarts of the Seattle comic scene. I'm not going to name any names, but stalwarts. So I'll say it again, stalwarts. But yeah, it's getting tough there. You know, a lot like Pete Bag, Jim Woodring, you know, they bought their houses in the 90s, the grunge era before the, the big boom, uh, the, the tech. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the Eric Reynolds boom, too, right? Uh, Groff, I guess, you know. But yeah, in current Seattle, you cannot, you know, afford to buy a house. So, you know, I like that region, but I'm not buying a fucking house there. Or fucking, you have to be crazy in this day and age. It's so expensive, and you just don't get a good house for for the for the money you pay. Yeah. Oh. But it's so pretty there too. I remember leaving oh. the, uh, the in the plane and seeing all the um, oh. the evergreen trees, the snow, and the, and the and the mountains. Up with this blue lights. I don't know. It's like, I've, Oh, landing and coming down with all those trees. It's so lush and green. It's just beautiful. Oh, well, bless yeah, you. My bless you with the monkeypox. Uh, bless you. I, you know, I, can't, I couldn't hold off anymore. I had to do it. But, uh, yeah. My wife seems to think I'm weird. I do a big blow and then I'll sort of thing bang, finger bang out my nose with a separate tissue. It's a bit of a production. If I do it in public, it's a bit weird. But I, I do because it's, well, it's just how I do it. But you, I mean, you got to. Oh, I've yeah, done okay, that. It's finger banging your nose out. Like a separate dry tissue after the main thing to do a real deep finger banging. Otherwise, there's still just snot in there and you'll just have to do another big blow soon anyway. So you might as well excavate it all out. Absolutely. I had a crazy nose fiasco whenever I was uh, walking to the train. Here in the East Coast in Philadelphia, oh, it gosh. is cold, 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 freezing cold. I experienced a new sensation, which I haven't really felt probably since last year, but it's hitting me with such shock that it's probably the first time I've felt it in years, where the inside of my head is so freezing cold because of my nose. My nostrils are cleared up, and the 
cold air is getting cool. into my nose and it's giving me brain freeze. And so I literally have to go in with my fingers to warm it up. And it's like the only thing that works to warm it in from the inside. Yeah. It is I felt cold like that for a long time. I remember in the Hobart one winter, like no central heating. And just, we're trying to wear three pairs of socks and like five blankets and just shivering and freezing. There's no way you could get warm. Such a deep, penetrative cold. I think that room was haunted, but my friend's brother had killed himself in that room. Anyway, um, but uh, yeah, what was that? I got derailed by that, that coldness? I could feel it again. Yeah, the coldness. Yeah, I'm sorry, Nate. That's, that's terrible. Finger banging your nose to stay warm. Oh, it's okay. You just walk to the train station and just forget. You just have to forget about so much. it. Dude, it haunts me. I think Josh is probably excited to start wearing, um, you know, coats and jackets again, like he's on, like he's on his old island once again. But you didn't say any of your jokes that you had. Would you have some pen no, jokes about Josh moving in or fun what? Fun jokes, just about Josh being a daddy now. And I dropped a few of them. I lightly peppered them, but I didn't make a big deal about it because I mostly am, you know, just trying to be supportive of Josh and. I respect you as well. I think you'll make a lovely housemate. You guys will have a good time. But, uh, you know. Uh, yeah. Well, oh. it is comedic. I won't dismiss that or combat yeah. that at all. Yeah. No, it'll be interesting. But have you got a TV in there? No TV. TV. Couch and TV, watch movies on and stuff. Get like a PS4, you know. Oh, we're going to get ourselves. That was a nice DVD player for sure, because I've got DVDs. I've got a TV in my room. Just no TV out there. I mean, I can give a quick tour here. If people really want to see yeah, that, oh, what Josh's see. crash pad will be. Poor bastard headed. So this is basically, this is my bedroom here. This is where you take someone really nice. Boom. Boom. You got the window. Boom. Oh, you got Cupid right above the oh. bed. Oh. You got Ball Boy. Oh. Next to the bed, and you got Peggy too. Oh. TV where you watch some Rudolph because of the holiday season. That's what I've been doing pretty much all all day, every day. We go out. This is Zine shelf, top of the pops, and then it gets mid, yeah. mid, 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 Clear lame, up. Using the lame. Firewood. Top of the pops, oh. spin a rack with just everything in here is great. Everything. And then we basically we got this this stuff here. Now oh, we can't really show this Lord. on YouTube, but I'll show it here. Lord. It's to keep you motivated. Oh, those horses. What's that now? What's that? Oh, what this? It's not a horse. It's 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 a cowgirl, but it's for motivational purposes here. <laughs> oh, good golly! Yeah. Uh, oh, what's that? Uh, it's drawings. Just distracted by these sexy so much art. Look at get flagged. Oh my god. All right, hallway. We got the hallway here. Tom Neely. Got a printer and original. What? That's the computer that has been. Call, I've been coloring stuff Ooh, there. And this. Nice. This is where we live. Now there used. There used to be a record player there with speakers and a bunch of records, but my roommate's not ground floor. completely gone now. This is not the ground floor. Those are all my you have, like, men masturbating in the windows, do you? You're up on, like, second floor, yeah? Oh, this is third floor. Nobody's Four masturbating out of these windows except me. Ugh. You get to see the CVS? <laughs> oh, sorry. You get to see everything. It's Ooh, beautiful here. This, this is our job. Steps down we'll in the living quarters from the hallway. Oh, oh that's lovely. Nice yeah, isn't that nice? It's Where's classy, the front door right? to the left there? Is that the front door? Frog flask. Oh, and this is the front door here. If you need to leave someplace, yeah. Right. See what's on there. Oh, you're there. just alone there? You're, just, you're at the top of the steps? Is there another door there to another house? Or... Oh, that's lovely. Oh, no, it's just me. Stairwell. This is Josh's room. And I hear the it's echo, fire echo. Escape, no fire escape. Okay. Okay. That's not happening. But you can watch everybody out your window, oh, Josh. This is where you nice. would be living. It's all right. There's a, there's a nice place for Squally's Pizza oh, next yeah. door. He can get his wine. He can get 
There's just Jewel. You can have a leaf. Save that for lunch. Well, give me a look at this room again. Oh, look at the show. Is that built in shelves? Built in shelves. And this desk that my, I guess my roommate just left, but I actually yeah, might steal this desk. Before Josh myself, sees it, he needs a new desk. Yeah. <sighs> Yeah, he's probably going to take that, but uh, I don't know. We'll see. He is, he is uploading this video, so I guess no, he will have to see. that's a hot little room. I like this room. I mean, he was going to take this room, but as you can see, it's like... He's a big, big it's boy a bit fucked well. up. He's a 34-year-old man, British big boy. He needs that big boy room. He needs a big boy he room got, yeah, to bring big, his big boys home. Like, you know, business women or, like, you know, big... Yeah, big no business man, like, you know, big he's man. He's bringing home all sorts of people, you know. Mm -hmm. like, so he, he's a big boy. They're going to be business people. So they're going to be, oh, built-in shelf, nice. You've got all your, uh, your accounting books on there, lovely. You're like, yeah, yeah, I've got my accounting books. And yeah, he looks. Like, yeah, he looks like he's political he science looks, books. He looks like an adult man. You know, his, his room is clean, it's a clean room. So you've got your, your yeah, your dirty little book. I mean, I've got all sorts here. of stuff in this room here. This is when you have guests over and need to draw on the, on the old, uh, the, the old Nothing floor idea. table. Oh, boy, I always keep a floor table around. Oh, no, this is going to be sad. I think about Josh's table. He's, he's butt cushions here. His special posterior cushion that he uses on the chair. I'm going to have to throw that away. How could, how could you be well, sad? You yeah, replaced him with a TV. Yeah, I replaced him with a big video TV. Um, that's where Josh used to sit. But now there's a big TV there. I've been watching... I've been playing PS5 on there, but yeah. it's not the same. I'm, it it, 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 it probably never will be. Like, I, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't want to go to drifters and play pool. So. Very sad. Anyway. She can't she go with Jack. Like pool, she doesn't you know. like that. Josh and Drew's vapes like... out the back. We sit in the smoky garden. Like we're, I've quit smoking, but we're going to buy a sneaky pack of cigarettes and like, you know, have a couple of ciggies out the back of the beer garden. But then we were denied and uh, couldn't go. Mm. Yeah. The house looks lovely. It looks good. Yeah, give me that's the kitchen there quickly. You've neglected it. You've neglected Oh, the kitchen. Oh, how can I forget? Josh is and, going to be cooking. It's crazy because I've just done the dishes He's too. a cookie man. You're, you're going to be a lucky boy. He's going to be cooking some, some stuff up. He's a staunch vegan. He won't handle meat. And he's really pissy about it. But he'll cook you up some beans, some lentils. Uh, I, I'm, I'm thoroughly excited. He told me he doesn't uh, he told me I don't have to worry about groceries for a bit. To save on some financial. What the fuck? That is yeah. not me. Oh, I did not do that. Oh my god. It's horrible. I mean, I I'm just, sure I mean, you I left did. this place in some peace little when I left have for... broken in and done that or something. No, it's just it's it's, it's just uh, well, my roommate was before he left. He's just phone. left. He just left ten minutes ago. He's left that mess. Yeah, let's see this fridge. Yeah. Oh, I mean, actually, I put, I put you in the fridge here. This is, uh, I, I realized I forgot. I bought this, and I don't even have a microwave. I don't know how I'm going to make that. Done. I got this for later. It melted in my pocket, and then I put it in the oh, freezer again. You, you, you ever do that? You can sit on that dinner like a, like a mother bird, like a mother hen, and warm it up with your tuckets. That'll warm it up. I... I think that's what I'll do. Nice. Here we got some nice gray ice. Gray, gray. Philly ice. Yeah, from the silly water here. Oh, Ooh, we got some Josh will love I'll be that fish in the, uh, the fridge, being a vegan. Oh, uh, right next to some, <laughs> some of that. Uh, he's kosher as well. I like making that in the AM. What do we got? We got some bags. I don't even remember putting that in there. Oh, pretty well lemons. This used to me. You can make up uh, some lovely pork and peppermint lemon. You know, the mm. This people don't understand. They think they see this that like it's something casual in my fridge. Oh, this is gold. I don't. I never have this shit here. This is insane that I have that this. Looks pretty good. Peppermint, but it's I a like, real I like fancy. Costco, Costco is good. I, I, I get a lot of good stuff at the Costco. Oh, that sounds lovely. Peppermint bar. So fancy. Potato. Oh, no. I got this just in case. Just in case I ever nice. need it, some dressing on the side. It really it doesn't get much better than that. We've got tomato. 
Hunt, classic. If you get sick, boom, we got you. No problem. No problem. I'll probably end up having this later. Oh, yeah. If I'm being honest Sardis. with myself. Head on down to Sardis. Bit of Dayquil and some sardines. Beautiful. Oh, that's classy. I've uh, got to so take care of this. <laughs> it's, it's, it's... Still smoke those cigarettes. You can smoke those. I think you will on, on accident. But I like to come out here after I've drawn some pages or colored some pages, just look out the window and just say, man. So cold there, you're frozen. Yeah, lovely. You know, it, it reminds me, it reminds me of that pa the, the, the panel at the end of Below Ambition where Meg is just laughing at the yeah. stars. That's what I do. Yeah, the, I just laugh at the just stars. Just the hilarity of life, the hilarity of all of it. Bodies, man. Time. The sadness of it too. Oh yeah, it can be very sad. Horror, horror, longing, desire. Gosh. Well. Yeah, unfulfilled. Ooh, see, uh, it looks like a nice deal. I know what rent you and Josh are paying, and uh, compared to what I'm fucking paying, it's like fucking hell. That's bloody nice. Uh, that'd be nice to pay that level of rent again. Uh, it's affordable. There's too many, mur many yeah. murders around there. It's too many murders in the neighborhood. Um, sometimes, I mean, well, actually. There's this guy I know who just straight up just got shot one day. He just got shot walking down the road at 7:40 on a street that's like right by the street morning. where I walk. And it's crazy because I would see him, I would see him every single day on my walk because we did a similar ass walk. It, it's and I would judge him every time. I'd say, this guy's walking the same time I'm walking. What the fuck? He's got no job, no life. What a loser. And I realized I, I'm doing the same walk. What, what am I doing? You know. And, uh, yeah, but I don't. Nobody knows why. Like nobody knows if he knew the guy or if he was causing trouble. He would go to bars and not drink. Yeah. Is what I heard. And he would just like cause yeah. cause rifts with people. But man, I saw him. I didn't know him, but I saw him. And then one day I saw on on online that he was dead. Someone was posting about. Him. It's crazy. This world. It's it's it really is like the wild west in Philadelphia. Oh, I mean, Josh, it's not safe. My my area is okay. my area is pretty safe, relatively. But also that guy just got shot. So I don't know. It's I take every day, uh, I take every day as a blessing because it's it oh, could be the last I could die today. Who knows? I probably just gotta sit here and just draw it away, draw uh, draw the paint away. Oh, right on I know that's what Josh has to do. <laughs> yeah, it's not fake. That's just outside yeah, my window. That's, yeah, I used to have a lot of that in Seattle. Like, I was out having a cigarette in front of the house, and just suddenly this smash, and these people running, and cops like, get down the fucking ground. And I'm like, holy shit. And like, oh, go inside. I want more puff get inside. Yeah. yeah, I'm in the deep suburbs now, so it's just I'm in like Dadville, 41 year old man in the suburbs. So I did my, my crime time. Uh, yeah, it keeps things interesting. It's spicy, you know. It's living. It's city life, you know. Yeah, it can be motivational Powerful. sometimes. There's something always yeah. happening. Yeah, I mean, there's been times where my friends have been on the train, and there's been like, it's like a guy that falls in the train. You hit the emergency button, nobody comes, so some other guy just picks him up and brings him in. It's it's every man for himself in right. the city. That's why Josh and I each other. We won't let that happen. New York, London, you know, it's a, for most of the European cities, probably. Uh, I don't know. Oh, it's, it's, yeah. What's going on? What's going on? Better than baby. Yeah, how many, how many, do you, do you put into, into, into numbers at the beginning of the year? exactly how many books you'd like because you I mean you've got exactly like a pretty set plan i mean you've yeah, got the super get, secret project i want to get, I wanna get four issues to work on. Secret project one every quarter and i want to get two issues of meg's coming out so about 60 pages of meg's coming 
that's my goal. 120 black and white pages and 60 color pages. That's my goal. Wow. So you would be coloring the Meg's Coven issues as they are published. Yes, so I'm that is crazy. Gonna paint them. Paint like, I'm just gonna, there's no deadline. I'm just going to release them as I finish them, just chapter by chapter. And then in a couple of years, I'll jumble them all together and figure out a good order. Cut some, maybe edit some, add some. Definitely add some and bridge some things. And yeah, oh, or not. I'm so happy to get that because I think that is the ideal way to read any comic in 32 page segments. I think that is that is a gift from God. That that format. That's eight ball. It's, that's yeah, everything. Man. You have so much control and so much to be yeah, left for more. Yeah, eight ball and just, you know, hate and all my old favorite things. Yeah, I just want to do a floppy again. I was going to do it with Fanta, like trying to do a floppy with Fanta, but. You know, that doesn't pay enough. If I sell it direct, I can make 100% of the money instead of having to give money to distributors and publishers. And, you know, like, you know, I've laid that out to Eric. And he was like, oh, yeah, I guess, like, why would you? Like, mm. <laughs> yeah, then, yeah, yeah, like, but, yeah but yes, you then collect the stuff for Fanta to distribute to bookstores, you know, trade market, library market. Um, so, yeah, just start off with the zines and service the fans and the hardcores and, get to do it all myself and pay my rent and and then yeah and supplemented by collections and you know, anyway, that's the plan what are you planning what's your plan you know i was gonna say i mean people that are mad that they can't that these zines are inaccessible if they're really that mad that's the passion that'll bring them to buy them when it comes out and pay attention so they can't be too upset i'm planning to do I want to have sixty more pages to, uh, of, uh, of 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 full color, actually good comics, and then I want to have thirty pencil pages of just uh, of just my own stuff. It's a total. I want a total of four books. Four four books this year. Or this next would be year, nice. Twenty twenty three. Yeah, in, in the in the big umbrella of the year of twenty twenty three, I'd like there to be four books by the end of it, maybe five. Do some splits with Josh would be nice in the oh, living yeah. quarters. I mean, it's it's come true to yeah, have a comic cool. book roommate. I mean, I remember my my very first roommate. I was like begging him to make comics with me. Like I was like setting it up and like planning it, but he would never follow through the or at all. Which is, I mean, it, it's to be ex it's to be expected if somebody doesn't really care. It takes a lot of work in time but man i just always wanted that so bad yeah, definitely got to do some funny zines and stuff throughout the year just you know just to pay for stuff as well just to get us to comic-con like i said earlier we'll just you know do a little zine together or something i want to do more werewolf jones scenes i just like i say to josh i want to do like a winter and a spring one so you can have like the four seasons of the floppies but we've got other stuff to do like josh has yes. got tedwood to get on with i got meg's carbon to get on with but eventually like 2024, you know, got to do those other ones, <laughs> you know, spring and winter. Yeah, the set. Well, I always think spring is just, it's just in between summer and winter, and fall is, 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 is it, spring and fall are both in between seasons there. You, you don't have to no, have. We're just thinking about the color schemes, always. like doing a, a green, a green oh, yeah, spring well, one, of like course, a, some a blue and black kind of winter one, like lining them up. Just the two covers look so nice next to each other. Josh and I just like nerding out, it's like, oh, look how nice they oh, look next oh, to each God. other. Uh, anyway, farewell, Josh. Farewell. Yeah, Good luck in Philly. Next time we do manga chat next week, Josh is going to be in that house in Philly. Oh, he's oh going to be God, right. you're right. He's going to be going, right Hello, there. I've had my power bar. Nate, do you want a power bar? Wow, it's going to be, it's going to be, I think, Slosh Central Station insane. in this house. We're going to have some mental streams. Uh, yeah. We've got to get a hot tub for the middle 100%. of the living room, I think. And Josh loves all like a hand of like that. a robot that gives out hand jobs. So you and Josh can do mega chat in a hot tub in the living room getting hand jobs from robots. Oh my God. Yeah. I mean, I was just thinking it'd be just, it'd be just uh, duo hand jobs, no robots. Just, just, just analog. 
Uh, and acoustic. Well, I don't know. The future is filled with so much like that. It's so be much amazing. possibilities. It's going to be amazing. 2023, everyone. Let's go. What's going to happen? What's going to happen? don't know. There. I'm surprised Instagram hasn't shut this off yet. I think any second. Off way over time. Any second. Way over. But yeah, 2023, no. That's right. Well, if anybody wants any PDFs, please... Message me or email me. It's pay Slide what you want his, for the yes, full collection. Yes. Slide into his DMs. That's like, uh, that's like seven digital. bucks. So. Six dollars. DM Nate. You can buy a digital thing and support him to buy his bags of cheap bagged fish. Well, to pay what as you, low, yeah. you, you can want as more. low as six dollars. thousand dollars. Yeah, or eighty thousand. Let's not let's not shut down the PayPal here with tax. Oh,